hey there. You're looking good today. How you doing? Lies! Remember how I had that thing that I complained that I didn't have? I decided I'm just gonna take it casual from now on. You're looking good. Yes, you. Ooh. No, not them. So oh, single. What? What's up? What is yeah, he knows. He's just asking. You know. He's a, he sees keep it. Keep it in the loop. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just for exchange and information. It's no big deal. He's single. You want to kiss? Want to kiss? I have 12 warrants in six states. Oh. Ah. Uh -huh. Or oh. you want to kiss quickly? Yeah. No. <laughs> Welcome to Vestige of a Few Kiss. <laughs> And that Campaign was one session thirty three. <laughs> we are knee deep in the tournament stuff. I'm gonna choose one of you to give me a summary of last time. You don't need to tell what happened in every single fight in the summary. I'm gonna say that ahead of time. Feel free to broad strokes it. Six, Deco. What happened last time? Oh, thank God. All right, let's see here. Broad strokes. Uh, tournament. Yep. You got it. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now let's not lie. Now let's get a few more of those strokes on there. Okay, okay, let's do a, a couple more strokes. So uh, we had finally made our way uh, to the tournament grounds. Uh, we faffed around a little bit beforehand, looking around at people and 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 finding some foxes and getting our money taken from us, mm -hmm. and everything was great. Really, let's just be honest. Um, we all had split away into our separate uh, <gasps> little areas, which was completely like not oh, needed, no. but. But I didn't change the oh, I didn't change the background deco for today's episode. I'm such a I'm such a knob. Well, oh. fool. It's still Lily knobs. Wind. Oh well, yeah. moving on. Uh at which point we had uh we had started um we had started some some things going on. We had started some fighting. Mm. Uh there was there was some there was some uh there was some Fenris fighting and she <laughs> was fighting a big old boy. Uh big old big old fume boy. Uh and fume was nice to her. Uh, Cause she was nice to him, and then she kicked his ass. Um, that was pretty fun. Uh, other things happened, uh, and then there was a, uh, a Quintus and and uh, Miriam fight, and uh, they were both nice to each other, except that you know Miriam set me on fire, and that's mm -hmm. not fun at all. Um, so I yeah. I drank my only potion. <laughs> Damn, feels bad, man. And uh, my, you know, my my only ace in the hole against Vogan. Um, so <laughs> uh, so it's great. Um, and and I I, I beat I beat Miriam and 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 just barely because he was about to strike me with a bunch of lightning and I wouldn't have liked that. Um, and then there was some then there was some more fighting. We had we had a flux fight which happened before that fight. But you know I I don't know the order of these things. Uh, Flux is a robo boy, and he fought a bear. He fought a bear goyle, and the bear goyle uh, set out he was gonna break Flux, and 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 didn't because uh, Flux did the breaking back, um, and and that was pretty cool. Uh, robot uh, technology wins. Uh, yes, science. Um, we had a Vogan fight, and Vogan was all like, "Man, I, I really want to beat your butt." And the other guy's like, "Oh yeah, well, how about I give you more money for it?" Uh, Vogan's <laughs> exactly like, "Yeah, sure, happened. man." <laughs> so yeah, like, Vogan got more money for to it. Take this bet. <laughs> I will give you, I will give you more money than I asked for. Why? Oh. Who knows? Swords. <laughs> 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 That, 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 basically what happened. Exactly how <laughs> and that was his voice. <laughs> Swords! <laughs> Swords, see? Uh, <laughs> at which point we continue forward. Uh, and Lexi Lexi got, got the got the fight got the fight the uh, the guard captain boy over at the over at uh, over at the uh, what was the place called? The um For the, the outbreak captain. Fort oh, Depot, yeah. yeah. Fort Depot, yeah. Uh, and and he was all like, I, "I'm going to get you," and she's like, "I'm gonna shoot you," and he's like, "I'm gonna shoot you for it." Um, I got and him. that was that fight. <laughs> That's true. And uh, you know, uh, also Merkwire's back. Um, that that <laughs> doesn't. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Um, and he's all like, "Hey, I some I I know about uh bad things that nobody should know about. So take that. And also, uh, I'm hurt or something. So." That you know, deal with that. Goodbye. And then he walked away, um, and I'm like, Merkwire's <laughs> <laughs> um, all like, 
I went up to the to the top, and 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 uh, Aboyo was all <laughs> like, "I'm going to make Mukwai as a leader of the thing," and I was like, <laughs> um, and uh, exactly he's like, like, "Oh that. yeah," and I'm like, "Yeah." That's how, mm. that's just and, how all the NPCs are, huh? They're all and, this! <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, oh I, not evil merchant lord, would like to propose mm, innocent man Maguire as king! I would like to propose <laughs> thorns! <laughs> Hello, I am Innocent Man Merkwire. I am Innocent Man Merkwire. <laughs> and I would like to be king. And uh, that's, that's about where we ended up. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. How'd you like my uh... broad stroke? Man, I noticed are you, you spend a lot more time on one specific fight than the others, but ignoring that fact. Mm. <laughs> Which one, the swords? <laughs> it was the best fight, that's why. Um, <laughs> all right, so I could have killed a man. <laughs> <There's>, uh, it's <laughs> true. Oh, well, you were almost in big trouble. <laughs> so I would have been there... so happy. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, Heckin, <laughs> there's one thing that we'd like to show that actually Carrie would like to show before we <gasps> dive too deep into anything, and that thing is her hatred for me. It's not mm -hmm. true. This. She hates a lot of things. <gasps> oh! See, I'm so happy. I'm I glad know. we had that conversation. The most oh excited. <laughs> God damn. Oh my so goodness. Like <laughs> I know, I just didn't want to show you it. <laughs> <laughs> you son of a bitch. I know. <laughs> yeah, oh, this is so the pretty. Most it's so pretty. I can. The incredible Hekin Sukiyaki Teriyaki, I think is how you say her name. Wow. Uh, Hekin, yeah. I am getting a sticker She's of that. She's wonderful. I am absolutely She's Speaking so of getting a sticker of it, uh, Carrie Hekin insisted <laughs> that we put it onto Redbubble. I so. insisted. Sure, I did. I didn't I'm even the ask one who gets you. All the stuff you literally, you <laughs> came to me and you're like, yo, I'm buying the commercial rights to this from the artist. Do you want to pay it or do you want me to pay it? And I was like, what? You asked Redbubble? me to get them and then I asked her. I didn't know her. such thing. Yet, all right. I don't we're, remember. We'll that. fight later. <laughs> 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 the point is, it's on Redbubble mm -hmm. on like a million things. Mm -hmm. And y'all should actually follow then. Sukiyaki because she's wonderful. She also did our picnic in hell background for Sweet D. She's incredibly oh, talented, wow. and I yeah. love her. Okay. The point mm -hmm. is, Can Carrie hates it, me. Of course, I can. <laughs> Donk Shen, darling. Yeah. Are you gonna put the full version into the um, official art chat? And you want me to put? Do you want me to put this one in the that. our main Discord later? Yeah. Okay. Yes. I don't know if you have permission <clears throat> to post in the official art thing on our main Discord, so I'll, I'll have to do it. I'm pretty sure only that we mods and stuff can do that. This is bad timing on my part, but I am going to run and grab something real quick and then come back. In the meantime, wow. it's fine. We're all I, just gonna start. I know. Running. I know I'm the worst. <laughs> wow! I'll be right back. I need to go Wowie grab wow. my. I, need I can I can go further in the detail with some of the talks. I need my caffeine happening. chocolate. <laughs> uh, no, but dude, so, fucking, yeah. I didn't even know what I wanted. Like fucking, her commissions opened up, and I was just like, bam, like fucking. <laughs> she messaged so over, me so over, like this week. Oh my god, I was like, just... question. <laughs> Is it bad that it makes me think of like? Have you heard on TikTok all the strawberry, uh, blonde renditions of songs? No. Like, uh, you might have heard like, "Look at you, strawberry cow." Oh, that! Yeah, yeah. yeah. Have, yeah so yeah. the original song is "Strawberry Blonde" by Miski, which oh. incredible lesbian artist. But it's like, "Look at you, that. strawberry fox eating bagels yeah. and locks." I love when you bark my way. I'm like, oh. Ah. Even right, though she back. doesn't like bagels nor locks. Okay, I'm Izzy done. She likes strawberries. Izzy, That's why the dress. I'm oh. allowed to leave, not you. <laughs> you had a you. whole <laughs> chunk of time before a game to do it. I technically True. did too, but I decided. I was to gonna say. <laughs> I was doing things, Cheeseburger Man. Hey. Oh, shit. He called you I Cheeseburger Man. Things. <laughs> this cheeseburger yeah. breakfast man. I never claimed to be doing things. That was oh, like that was like him calling you out for having a cheeseburger. Dude, I <laughs> know she's incredible. Now I'm eating tater tots. Fucking gold. She's so talented. Oh, cheeseburger so tater tots man. with like melted cheese on top. It's the cheese like, top man. Man man. She's also super super fun to talk to. Like I was asking her before, 
because she's <laughs> like kind of people and whatnot. <laughs> um, and I was like, are you okay drawing like kind of animal like features? And she's like, oh yeah, like I showed her Lexi and she's like, yeah, she's like mostly human, that's all good. And I was like, <clears> okay, <throat> can you draw her in the strawberry dress? You know the one. And then like linked her to it. And she was like, oh, I've been wanting to draw the strawberry dress for so long. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I'm leave so happy. all this out, Stewie. Yes. Oh yeah, 100% leave all this out. This is just me. If around. Buddy <laughs> eats all of his tots, will he be totless? What? Nyuck, yes. nyuck, nyuck, nyuck. All right, so game. Um... <laughs> <laughs> As soon as I finish my tots, I just start stripping. It's fine. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh my so, god. My my dudes, the current date in game, now that we've shown that, I'll just leave that up on screen unless something else I can take over because it's cute as butts. It's okay. I forgot to put the right deckle up anyways. Deckle! Deckle! Right. Deckle! Uh, so, that the current time is, <laughs> it would be about 4 p.m. Uh, has, as everything comes to a close. Uh, the crowds that are around the tournament area, oh, just full recap, it's Tuesday, the 29th of July, uh, 4 p.m., uh, pretty sunny day, uh, relatively hot, um, beyond that, you guys just went through the issue of, uh, Vincent Bellaquist had announced that Merkwire was his nomination, for the new High Lord, with the rationale that he is a competent man combat-wise, and with the countries getting into more ferocious war, something you guys actually haven't dealt with as a group very much, uh, he believes that they need someone to look towards their military matters as opposed <laughs> to their matters of commerce. Oh uh, yeah, I learned as a player last game that my country was in a civil war. Well, it, <laughs> that's his understanding of it. You're fighting or orcs. That, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, heckin, uh, and outside that, Quintus had engaged him briefly, and through Going the straight for Diane, through the <laughs> method of claiming things wildly because no side has any proof, Merkwire was given credit for the work that you guys did to thwart Merkwire. So the public now believes that he is responsible for the things that you guys did to stop him, which. I mean, just, oh yeah, well we got the money. Just run up and call him a liar. <laughs> um, oh no. Heckin. Beyond that, you guys uh, ended game. You are in the middle of a pretty tenuous situation. I would like Fenris. Could you please roll me a? Uh, could you roll me a perception check? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Wow! God damn! So let's just jump straight to this. Oh my god. You do notice upon inspection after your match, um, the lot of you all notice that some of your money's gone missing. Uh, you can't oh. exactly tag how much of it, but as you guys are preparing oh, to leave, exactly how much. <laughs> uh, as you guys are patting your stuff down, unless you have a distinct memory of exactly how much you had before, you just know that you're missing an amount. Flux! You recognize that you are missing your entire pouch. You have no money. Um, <laughs> I'm just a two. I had a one plus. I had a one plus the best number. That's how I know. The Warforge just falls <laughs> to his knees. I'm going to starve. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Fenris, apart from yeah. you, apart from your guys missing gold, you do find that a brooch of particular significance to you does not appear <laughs> to be on your person anymore. <laughs> No, 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 Are we, like, in roleplay mode, or am I just realizing this? I like, release you. Okay. The world moves. Um, I realize this, I go, oh, no, 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 and I'm going to start, like, excuse me, sorry, I'm just checking by your face. Did, did, has anyone seen a brooch on the, and I'm just gonna start looking. <laughs> did, you lose, did you lose your brooch? I think. Perhaps during my scuffle with Fume, or perhaps when we were traveling up here, it must have come undone, which is quite unlikely since. Mm -hmm. And she's gonna pat like the part of her chest that it was on. Well, um, um, I mean, I, I, I was pretty broken, so maybe it just fell off. Like it's, it's okay. We we can try to find it. But if we can't, I can I can find you something else. It'll be okay. No, it was it was the perfect gift. Hmm. That's such a shame. <clears throat> we'll we'll find it. We'll we'll find it. Yeah. Can I try to find it, Logan? 
Yeah, do you want we to? We know where it is. You have a skill for finding items within city limits, mm -hmm. so why don't you roll yeah. me investigation with advantage? Hell yep. Yeah. Oh, nice. Well, you have a skill for finding things in general, but it's I believe it specifies... Give me. Nice. <laughs> Give me. So, looking around... Uh, tr I'd like to actually ask, are you looking as a fox, or are you looking as a people? As a people, I'm not gonna turn into a yeah. fox fucking here. I just wanted to, I just wanted to clarify. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh -huh. as, you, as you duck and weave around, and you look about, you check the main arena grounds, you see that, uh, the grating that's in the middle of the arena doesn't act, it has only, like, a very small area beneath it, like, there's only, like, a couple of inches underneath it, so you check that, uh, you recognize there's nothing down there except for small blood stains from certain parts of the fights that went on. Mm. Um, Ooh, you delicious. check about the areas that you know Fenris has been, and as mm. you search the area, you do not manage to find the brooch. Um, mm. You do, however, uh, notice that as things are wrapping up, you do see a couple more of the foxes that had been around uh, moving about, and in particular, uh, oh. you catch, uh, you meet the eyes of a fox weaving in around people's feet that uh, appears to be carrying a very, very tiny little bag that it is slightly <laughs> torn in its <clears throat> mouth. <gasps> well, when it mm. sees you, and it's not, it's going unnoticed by basically everyone else, when it sees you, it meets eyes with you, you see, almost see like its first stand on end, and it freezes, and you both just have a moment of, uh, of silent recognition. <laughs> as you're both still in the moving crowds, and then the fox darts off suddenly, trying <gasps> to weave through the largest crowd that it can. I chase it! I try to chase it! Oh, no. well, there she goes. Uh, oh, come back! I guess I'm following. Uh, you decided to stay with her the entire time? I swear to fuck if Merkwire knocks me out again. <laughs> Merkwire and his many fox minions. I Son mean, a bitch. I have a feeling this has something to do with a certain white-haired friend of ours, but that's fine. Mm -hmm. So, uh, as the fox, with this particular fox, by the way, has a. Uh, uh, black fur, where normally there'd be like white tufts <gasps> on it. You see that it has some black fur tufts. Is that important? Uh, I would like important? you to please roll me. Um, <gasps> roll me two things. First of all, uh -huh. roll me another perception check. Okay. Not with advantage. Okay. Is it Kevin? Carrie. <laughs> Fuck! No. Roll me then. Roll me a dexterity check. But roll Can it with you disadvantage. Roll in <laughs> oh, whoops. <laughs> <laughs> roll me a dexterity check, but roll with disadvantage. Fuck. <clears throat> oh, oh no! Oh, Fenris, no. I'm going to say I'd like you also to roll me a perception check. Okay. Assuming that you're also helping to run after this thing. That'll be... That'll Middle be, of the road. Roll me a dexterity check as well, but uh, flat. No, no advantage, no disadvantage. Uh, does this include disadvantage I have on... Where is my dexterity? I see deception. What's your main, your main page? Dexterity oh, check. Duh. Yeah. Just, a, just a main skill check. Sorry. That's all right. <laughs> Got brain rot. Oh, we're not doing good today. Bro. Also, just because we're not Talk in the other end of the tournament, I'm going to go ahead and throw everybody onto the combat tracker again, just to, just to have Yay. you there. Nice. Uh, Appreciate. As you guys duck and weave around and try to move through the crowds, you try to keep up with the fox, but as it's low to the ground and moving around people's feet, uh, it manages to stay out of your sight for the most part. And just as it's about to leave your vision... Uh, Lexi, you bump into some a large mass in front of you as you're chasing it. As you slam into a person, Fenris, this catches you <laughs> off guard and you stop. As you oh. look towards the person that uh, she bumped into, and then you look back towards where the fox is, you see that it has weaved into the crowd in such a way that it is now beyond your sight. And given the amount of directions it could go into, it becomes readily apparent that as far as chasing it goes, there's really no chance of picking up its trail. Flux, a tiny fox girl bumps into you in the crowd. <laughs> well, tiny girl. 
Uh, yeah, I'm a, a girl. Girl, girl. Bumps into you, on the <laughs> you could only just swear that. I mean, if she had fox ears, that'd be kind of cool. I guess. It'd be so adorable. <laughs> <laughs> a little, and a little strawberry dress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Aww. Oh goodness, I'm. I apologize for getting in your way. No, like I, I bumped into you, but I'm sorry. I'm kind of looking for someone, and I'm, 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 I'm like frantically looking around, oh. trying to see if I can still see. Did you me. see a tiny fox mere minutes, mm -hmm. mere moments ago? Excuse me. I don't know. Did I see a tiny fox? Uh, given where it is in the crowd, unless you were looking for it, I don't believe you would have caught it because it would have been like underfoot. I'm sorry to say, I haven't seen such a thing. Um, oh. Could I perhaps uh, help you look for it? Uh, uh, Oh, I, I don't know. I don't know which way it went. She'll just put a hand on Lexi's shoulder. It's okay. Uh, oh, it's a pity that I lost it, but it's all right. She'll give well, a thumbs up. Although I can't really wear a stick in my hair, so uh, <laughs> can't wear any of your adorations. Well, I I like. I don't think that that fox had your brooch. I'm actually really not sure where your brooch is. I can't. I can't really find it. I'm gonna keep looking though. Um, but like that, that kind of felt like a special fox, like that, mm -hmm. like Kevin was like a different color from other foxes and he was kind of your, your pet color, Kevin, really... yes. Uh, yeah. yes. <laughs> My friend Kevin. <laughs> I see. But she still developing cats Lexi's head. <laughs> so, so young. Oh, I need to find so Kevin. Young. <laughs> So young. That's so Amir, mean. That's the meanest thing you said. Uh, Amir, thir thirty. No, she's got my back, man. Like she's fucking. Mm. <laughs> oh. You did well fighting the bear earlier. Oh, well, thank you very much. You also did well against the giant flaming man. <laughs> thank you. He's right. You know, you did really. Good. You both did really, really good. And you were fantastic, Lexi. Eh. I'll... No, it is I've true. I've been patting Macron's her head killed. and I'll start rubbing it, <laughs> ruffling her hair. Oh. Uh, Dude, I'm still like half paying attention to what you guys are saying and looking around. I got you. Oh, I'm a Don't worry. <laughs> like desperately. <laughs> to distract from the fox, the fox sense is tingling. Uh, uh, you were waving at us earlier, were you not? Yeah, that was weird. Oh. We don't know you. Yeah. Oh, that is right. Yes, we have not met, but I have I have heard tell of uh, of your guild. Um, are you perhaps of the highest standard? We are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Excellent. Aww. I have been sent <laughs> here to kill you. <laughs> oh, yeah. ah! I have been sent here from the future to kill you. Pulls off Warforged face is a drow. Venerus <laughs> <laughs> just keeps giggling, and you just see her clap a, a hand forward. over her mouth. And Aww. she's just like listening to him. Um, if it wouldn't be too much trouble, um, would I be able to talk to you and your friends uh, for a moment? Uh, there uh, are some things that I uh, wish to discuss, and perhaps an arrangement could be. Uh, we could we could come to something like that. Kind of. Yeah, we could come to an agree uh, an arrangement. <laughs> sure. Lexi's kind of squinting at you. Um... What what kind of? Arrangement, yes. agreement, what... Mm. What business mm. do you have with the highest standard? <laughs> mm -hmm. Looks to Lexi like, am I being cool? I <laughs> oh. <laughs> Just looking at you like, com like, his face is completely expressionless. Mm -hmm. He's like, <laughs> like, squinting angrily at Flux and then like, glances back at Fenris like, am I being cool? And nods once. Back to glaring! <laughs> 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 well, um... To, to be short, um, I wish to join you. Oh, your guild. Oh. I mean, oh, I, uh, I don't know. That's 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 not really up to us. I, I, I don't uh, know. Mm. Of course, I would never expect you to uh, acquiesce to such a request, uh, sight unseen. Um, <laughs> I, I, I have a, I have a proposition. <laughs> um, I, I believe I could be of service. Can I just oh, say before okay. it leaves my brain? <laughs> 
that is he occasionally your mic does the <laughs> thing yeah it now it now makes so much yeah. more sense it's great um, <laughs> oh my god i had no idea it, sometimes it does it's never really a problem but like now it's just like oh it's just flux now it's, it's it's whatever. Fluxing. <laughs> yeah uh, I, his voice just occasionally glitches yeah i can't see why we couldn't all meet somewhere and discuss your Indoctrinate. Uh, do, the, the, I indoctrinate. Wow! wow. <laughs> Run, Excuse me, what? I'm. I so... should go. I think I may have. I may have been misinformed about what kind of group. No, 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 no! Oh my gosh! No! I, I am not the spokes. Oh my gosh! You need to meet. Are you Quintus. a cult? That's. No. <laughs> Who's no. asking? <laughs> I'm so sorry. I am like, I'm the worst person you've decided to discuss this with. Um, That's not but, a no. All right, all right. It's pretty good, yeah. It's pretty good, yeah. I, I don't know when we'll all be together again, but I can pass the information along that you wish to discuss joining. Mm hmm. That, that would be fantastic. I I, I very much appreciate it. We'll, we'll probably talk it over like throughout the tournament, and we'll we'll like evaluate your performance. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um. Our yeah. Mm -hmm. Our that sounds people fair. will be in touch with you. <laughs> Excellent. Here is my card. <laughs> <laughs> our Slowly people will talk to your card people. from my his chest. I was no, gonna say. Not. I hope it's not the butt. <laughs> like. <laughs> oh! You hear a series of fax noises. Yeah. <laughs> Dial-up modem sound effects. Yeah. Uh, um, uh, if if we wish to contact you, are you staying in town? I uh, guess I am staying at a hotel. I assume. <laughs> although I guess I, although I do not know how I'm going to pay for it, I uh, seem to have misplaced my funds. <gasps> Was it in? Was your money in like a little pouch? Is like your little pouch thing missing? Indeed, it's like just pointing <gasps> to a spot on his hip. It was right here, but it the, seems to have uh, been misplaced. The uh, foxies had it. They stole it. You you believe I was robbed? Uh huh. Like oh, eyes well, glow should... red. <laughs> <laughs> no no. <laughs> arm arm unfolds into massive gun. <laughs> Like the, iron, we must like the iron giant when it goes into fucking combat. <laughs> yeah, huh? exactly like that. But I do, I do believe that uh, our pockets have been pinched as well, a little bit. Yeah, someone so. stole my friend's really pretty brooch. Oh goodness, I am, mm. I am sorry to hear that. It sounds like mm. it was quite meaningful to you. Mm -hmm. um, but it was. If you'd like, I could help you look for uh, the perpetrator. Well, I mean, we're not gonna I... like hurt anybody or anything. We just want to find our stuff. I believe, I believe the perpetrator. If that is what you wish, just got away. I think this might be something to investigate the other days, since I Maybe. am quite certain that she'll be back here. Hmm, that makes sense. Hmm. If you think that would be best. Did we ever? Did we catch your name? Well, the oh, next step, right? Like when you were fighting, I think it was Flux. Ah, Flux. I, I apologize. Yes, my my name is Flux. Mm -hmm. It's a it is a pleasure to meet you, Master Fenris, Master Lexi. <laughs> no, 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 um, Fenris. Uh huh. Just, just yeah. Fenris. No, 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 no. No, uh, Master Lexi, though. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. Check. Whatever you wish, Master Fenris. <laughs> no, no. Uh, <laughs> Fenris, just Fenris. No, no acronym. Fenris. I like that. That is not what an acronym is. I. <laughs> Oh, oh, we this should go. Have so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> I feel the most easy thing too. you We're ever <laughs> said. Izzy's gonna have so much fun with this. I feel like oh. I can't. I feel like I can't be around this person anymore. Um, no. <laughs> we should go. We should, we should go. Uh, it was wonderful meeting you, Flux. Um, good luck. Thank you as well. Mm. Bye, Flux. Yeah. Goodbye. And I, I will tell them whatever hotel I'm staying at. Is he at the Dragging Dagger? Because I feel like that makes sense. I feel sense. like that's where everyone is. <laughs> well, to stay at the Dragging Dagger, he would have to be part of a guild, because that's mm. uh, true, true, true. opened up mm -hmm. for them. So one sec real quick while I... Um, the, the name is unimportant for now. Um, 
but then you'll have told them where you're staying. Cool. Back Excellent. In. Cool, and we shall move onwards. That was not how I want meeting now that we've anyone sent Izzy to ever away, go. Goodbye, Izzy. You can come back the next day of the tournament. <laughs> Wee! Bye. Uh, Glad to be here, guys. I think <laughs> Alexi, I don't think I should ever try to get people to join the highest standard ever again. I mean, we weren't trying to get him to join. He, he wanted to join, and we just were just talking. being really cagey that, about it. That was really not good. <laughs> that was not good socialization on this game. <laughs> that I'm was pretty sure. funny. Mm, that made me nervous. <laughs> no, um, you, did, you did fine. We, we should go find the others, though, and let them know what's going on. Yeah. Uh, we yeah. should probably find Marion. Mm-hmm. Because... Everyone else is probably upstairs. The others, that, I believe, yeah, that makes sense. Co I think collectively the others had gone up to the uh, upper platform mm. opposite the one that uh, Scarlet is on. So <laughs> I went to the one Scarlet was on. You went to the yeah, one Scarlet. You did, yeah. Yeah. Heckin. <clears throat> but we should probably find Miriam first, since unfortunately he won't be able to join us. That's oh, uh, the west one's the one that is the closest to Dem uh, to Diane, so I'm also up there. Alrighty, that is the one that is opposite of Heckin Scarlet. Um, cool. So, uh, Vogan, since you are alone and as such, it would be probably easier to figure out what you're doing. What are you doing? Uh, <laughs> hmm. he's hmm. Sort of just like taking it in, just like after the whole Merkwire announcement. He's just like, oh man, what should I do there? I'll turn to fucking Scarlet, I guess. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, it's like, oh, I think I just shared that picture with you, Izzy. Don't mind that. Ho ho. <laughs> I mean, no, I just, I no, just, no. I, just I, was trying, I mean, nothing. I was, I was trying to throw up, uh, Scarlet's picture again, and I dropped it on Flux's thing and not Winchester's thing. My oh, so you're into that, Logan. Ha 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 ha. Anyways, go to, ahead. Yeah, I'll turn to Scarlet. Did you know he was still alive? Mm -mm. No, I didn't. Hmm. Well, that's gonna be a fucking issue. <sighs> and now Quinn's made a huge thing of it. I had thought that you got what you wanted from him. I wanted his death. Mm. But noticeably, it goes without saying based on how I'm talking, but just to point it out, you do notice she's definitely speaking as a different person currently. Mm -hmm. Her accent has entirely vanished, uh, as far as uh, as far as you can tell. Her mm -hmm. body language is different than you remember, rather than before, where she was very floaty and very uh, energetic. She mm -hmm. almost seems disinterested and is avoiding looking at you. This is gonna be great when this turns out not to be scandal. <laughs> oh <laughs> right? <my God. laughs> like this is scandal's turns mom. Turns out scandal's been impersonating this person the entire time. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Weird. Oh, I'm gonna go find the rest of them, I guess. What are you gonna do about him being back? That's the question, isn't it? I don't know. Mm -hmm. We'll discuss it. Hopefully, we do something about it soon. Him being around is a problem for this entire place. Is it? Well, you saw how he was. Someone like that should not be a leader of a country. Really? She turns over towards you, leaning against the edge of the, uh, leaning against the edge of the platform. I... You're not very well versed in the people that run this entire continent, I take it, then? From what I've not heard... Not at all. Merkwire's <laughs> not so different from them. This country serves a royal family that is entirely comprised of warmongers. <laughs> but... If you prefer this kind of peace, then that's fine. Doesn't really affect me either way. What would you rather have done? I'd rather it be in constant flux. Yeah. 
I don't like things when they stay the same. I had actually... She looks over. You notice that her eyes move to the various different uh, platforms where the merchant lords would sit. And she seems like she's looking for somebody and then looks back towards you. Hmm. It's unimportant what I want. Whatever happens to this city isn't really my business. That's what they're for. As long as things stay fun. I'm pretty sure you figured that out about me by now. <laughs> yeah. You know, the old me would have really agreed with what, you, what you're trying to do. Hmm. I will say that as far as things go right now, I think that your group is more interesting than Murkwire's. I'm not sure what he's doing, but if he's just serving someone else that wants political control, that's not terribly exciting. I wonder what they might have done if they got that crystal, but now we'll never find out. Yeah. Hmm. Well... Feel free to stick around. I'm not I plan to kick you out. Heh. <laughs> Good luck. You're gonna have to fight me if you have to if you wanna win. That's fine. <laughs> With that he'll just like uh he, I imagine he was just like <laughs> leaning on the edge talking to her. He he picks himself up, starts walking down to where uh where Quintus is. One last thing, though. Hmm. Tell my sister I said hello. Is that true? I don't Are you know. actually her sister? I have no idea. I washed up here when I was young. I was saved from the ocean, and I don't remember much before that. But it's certainly more fun to believe it's true. At least it seems to bother her. <laughs> that it does. <laughs> All right. He'll uh, raise an arm, like saying goodbye, and he'll head back or head down to where he thinks Quintus is. Why didn't you slit her throat? That was your chance. <laughs> <laughs> You'll never be that close again. <laughs> uh, good time. So, you build uh, the entire campaign. You head down. You would, from where you are, you'd be directly across from like where Quintus and the others are, so you'd be able to see them across the way. Um, at the very least, when the argument between between Vincent and Quintus was going on, you definitely would have heard and seen that happening, so you would know reasonably to just go down and Oof. go around. Uh, okay. In the moments preceding Do him I... getting over there, Quintus, Mariam, uh, are you guys doing anything? Uh... I don't. Ha I don't. I'm, uh, I keep trying to open the map and it won't let me. Uh, but I remember there being guards. Yes, uh, there's a series of guards stopping the way to where the merchant lords sit. I would have made my way over toward them, still probably fuming uh, over what happened. But I try. I basically calm myself as I get to them, and then I. May I please speak with Diane? The. Uh... One of the guards looks over towards where the uh, where Edrigan and Diane are. Yeah, uh, we'll bring her over. Well, we'll see if she wants to come over here. For we can't let you pass here without of them course. directly telling us, I'm afraid. Sure, one sec. Uh, that guard leaves, heads over towards Diane. You see him briefly converse with, with Edrigan and Diane. And uh, she nods. She writes something down uh, for Edrigan, just seems like her usual affair. She has a clipboard where she writes something down that he dictates to her and then puts her hand up and walks over to where you are. Um, walks. The guards are still within earshot. You guys are still basically uh, all within about 10 feet of each other. She comes over. Yes? What can I help you with? Hello, Miss Diane. I believe it's time for our date. Huh. She blinks briefly and is like, hmm. I must have lost track of time. I didn't realize it was getting that late already. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I was fighting for the opportunity, after all. Mm -hmm. One second. Let me remind Edrigan that I have to, uh, I have to take the night off. 
And I'll be with you in a moment. Of course. She walks back over, tells Edrigan again. Uh, roll me insight. I would thought, never thought I this would, was gonna come up. I would normally like just say I fail it because I'm Quintus, but he is not being Quintus right now, so I'll roll it. Sure, I get that. <laughs> It's the best I can out when for. They, when they have the conversation, you see Diane gesture over towards you. Uh, you see her <laughs> flip a page on a clipboard that she keeps with her, and she seems. You, you get the impression just from what little you can hear that she's talking about scheduling. When she mentions a date, you briefly catch a glimpse of Edrigan's mood change ever so slightly. <laughs> uh, ooh. Like, he looks over towards you for a sec, smiles, like, waves at you, then looks back, puts his hand out towards you as, uh, with a very, like, ah, oh, them, hmm, gesture, and then <laughs> uh, I seems to give his blessing, and then Diane heads back towards you. I'm fine to go whenever you are. I'm entirely at your disposal. <laughs> Damn. Then let us go. I seem to have a little bit of a lighter wallet, but I'm sure we can at least find accommodations. <laughs> um, Vogan, I'd say that mm. in the brief time it takes for those two different back and forths to happen with <laughs> Diane, you would definitely show up. Uh, Lexi I imagine and I run into Lexi... Mariam beforehand. <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd say for the sake of getting everyone lined up, you would all show up yeah. uh, at the all same right. place at this time. Hey. Hello. Ah, right. Uh, Diane, do you mind if we stop by the Dragging Dagger first? Absolutely not. Uh, we can do whatever you want to do. She grabs onto your arm and, like, uh, weaves hers through it as if you guys were going out on a date. As soon as she's very close to you, she very softly whispers, Your friend had told me that our mutual acquaintance had been dealt with. So I'd rather like an explanation for why he's competing. I would also like an explanation from you for something. <coughs> well, there they go. You two gonna kiss? Allow me. <laughs> Are they gonna kiss? He's, he's motioning to you guys like, I need to first tell my guild something at the Dragging Dagger. So allow us all to meet there. Oh. I really hope I roll low. Yes. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Quintus, what are you doing? There's no time for dates. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> we have to get ready. The murder oh, is tomorrow. Shit! Logan, I think you'll find it's the perfect time for a date. <laughs> what are you talking about? Let's Mer go. Are you still alive? <laughs> He's going to start walking away. I should have told... <laughs> just looks over to Lexi. I should have told Flex to come along. Uh, well, don't have to give him a big ear full of it. What's happening? <sighs> I don't know. Hey, I don't know I guess Quintus like has wife. You yes, Do you want to make life really easy for you? <laughs> yes. Hell yeah. <laughs> so... You head back to the hotel where you're staying, <laughs> hoping to settle in, uh, get back to... Uh, your notes and whatnot. As you do, they ask you for payment ahead for the following night. As you have no money, you are unable to pay them. Uh, and for the sake of, you know, not just kicking you out of the rest of the session, Aww. I would say it would make sense if ha having you uh, with no hotel to go to, I imagine you would probably head back to the Dragging Dagger. Sure, uh, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> even if it go. just means you're fitting at the bar area. I mean, oh, at the very hey. least, even if he's trying to find out where you guys are staying, it's his only means of finding that out, so... Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's a good lead. I will head back to the Dragon Dagger. So, as you guys get there, uh, I would say that since he left a while before you guys, uh, he would probably arrive there before you. Moving through the city, <laughs> uh, moving through the festivities, the crowds are particularly thick. It would probably take you guys about an hour, so we'll say it's about 5 p.m. by the time you get to the Dragon Dagger. The inside of the Dragging Dagger is uh, 
It's not the general public, but it's a bit more packed than usual. You see, there's a lot of people that you immediately see to be adventurers. They have uh, lots of equipment on them. They have, they're wearing different types of armor. These are clearly members of other guilds. Uh, they appear to be all celebrating, uh, celebrating the festival in their own way among their, themselves. Most of them appear to be drunk despite it being 5 p.m. There's been a lot going on. Um, you see Journey's office door is very closed. <laughs> at this point. Uh, but having returned, you guys, I would say, would arrive at about the same time as Flux. You would encounter him as you guys prepare to enter. Hi, Flux! Hi. Oh, I'm hello again, Master Lexi. Step behind Lexi. <laughs> were, you, were you able to find your lost belongings? No. Mm -hmm. You all have lost Shakes belongings, head. too? Mm-hmm. Nod's head. Only lost my heart. Belongings. <laughs> oh, oh, I, no disapproving great. shake of head <laughs> <laughs> looks to the others he hasn't uh, met yet oh uh greetings uh it, it's a pleasure to meet you my name is flux holds out a uh, hand to shake someone's hand pleasure to meet you bugs how you doing <laughs> <laughs> it is flux yeah <laughs> He looks inside, like, it, it's very packed in here, right? Uh, pretty packed, yeah. There's There would be no space to speak privately in the bar area, at the very least. And we could probably assume there's no rooms open? You could... You getting a room with I your mean, lady friend? No, mm -hmm. no one's really sleeping at this time. Okay. So the, it's he is immediately going to see guys. if there's a room open. Mm. All right. Cool. Uh, as you guys come Damn. in, Urban, the one-armed halfling secretary who's uh, been at the front, greets you guys, and uh, he would he would direct you to tell you that the rooms upstairs are basically all free. Okay. <sighs> I go back to the others, and I just go, could all of you join me for a bit? Even to celebrate! Today. He goes Wait, and walks toward the stairs, like, to celebrate! <laughs> okay. I thought you were on a date. Mm-hmm. Am I, I am to have, about how dates go <laughs> to the party room. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, poor <we're talking. laughs> I don't think he's on a date, Logan. I'm not really sure what's going on. I am already stomping up the stairs. <laughs> or we should probably conversely, follow. he's on <laughs> one of the best dates ever. <gasps> Maybe. <gasps> Oh, I'm so confused. <laughs> I'm going to go upstairs. I know he's insinuating that he would like to engage in group coitus. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> Not right now. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> <I'm blank>. <laughs> <laughs> What's Flux doing? Is he, is he like following us? Or is he Unless he's explicitly invited, he's not going to assume he's invited. <laughs> you guys head up the stairs. Flux remains standing relatively still at the bottom. <laughs> cool. Plus, you need to you need to get a room too, my I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. But no. Um there's no reason for me to ask Flux to come here. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say that it makes uh, no sense. <laughs> I just I get to the room and I look to everyone. Uh as I do, I look at Fenris in particular. Uh as um, uh, I look at Fenris, I look at uh, I look at Lexi. Can the two of you make sure no one gets too close? What? Okay. Are you like everyone really else like... inside? He pushes the door open. You're taking us out. Why? We need secrecy. Okay. That's bullshit. I'll tell you what's <laughs> going on. I'm sure you'll be able to hear, oh, but don't let anyone else nearby. All the boys in the group are gonna ambush the heck in your lady friend. I see how it is. Oh my god. <laughs> they have the best perception. <laughs> <laughs> how dare you? <laughs> I, I go I go to step in and I just I just like hold the door open for everyone else. Standing huffily outside. <laughs> If we're gonna push Izzy out, we're pushing you too. I'm kidding. <laughs> Bullshit! <laughs> I've earned my place in this group! <laughs> just, you just hear Fenris like, I'm the one who killed him. Last oh, yeah. <laughs> this is a little. Hmm. Okay. Does uh, does Miriam and Vogan come in? Yeah, I go inside. Uh, does, uh, does Diane come in? Diane's on your arm, my dude. Okay, good. Mm. She never left. Great. <laughs> I close the door immediately. 
instantly she, put my ear to the door to pretty listen. Immediately, Diane <laughs> mm-hmm. detaches from you, uh, walks over to the uh, corner of the room. This this particular room is one of the ones that is not against any of the outward facing walls. There's no windows. Uh, it's lit pretty much entirely by candles that would be in the room. Uh, you say Diane. You have a Diane sighs, takes off her glasses, folds them, and uh, puts them away. I already asked my question. Exactly why is Murkwire still alive? Whenever Logan came to see me, he told me to pass on that this had been dealt with, and that looked explicitly not dealt with. Then I'll ask you a question. How come Murkwire knows about you? Because we we worked together. Yeah. He knows about you, and he knows about you being close to Edrigan? Yes. <laughs> we had worked together. I was helping <sighs> him to steal from Edrigan, if you recall. We have worked together, too. I just hoped you had put someone in between you and him. So you thought that when I contacted Merkwire, <sighs> that we had... Oh, you mean directly me? Yes. Did he mention me directly? <sighs> Or did he just mention the family? I, I, he like puts his hand on his head. I suppose he only mentioned the family. At the time, we thought that we were taking a calculated risk and working with just another criminal. We didn't realize that he had aspirations like this. Why? So, you already knew that he knew, but I take it that he must have said something. After his fight, he stopped and talked to me. He told me not to out him. I think that's what he said, right, Logan? Uh, He said not to mention, yeah, not to accuse him of anything or else he'd expose Edrigan. Also, that Edrigan was to abstain from voting. Yes, I remember that part. He had told me not to out him. As well, he wants Edrigan not to vote in the upcoming election. Otherwise, he'll expose you. Ah, I see. So then he wants to effectively eliminate Edrigan from the running. Well... That's problematic. Yes, very. (sighs) If we were to be outed, it would be good for us to be connected to Edrigan, but we would survive it if Edrigan didn't become the High Lord. But losing the Amberwick Company would... That would be a major inconvenience for our branch of the family. We can probably assume at this point that not only does Murkwire know but also his keeper. Keeper? The other High Lord. The one whom I was screaming at before. Vincent Ah, Bellatwist. Hmm. I guess it is very apparent that he's working with Murkwire. Whenever I was chasing Murkwire, we had came across a sphinx. The other two can... A test. I had asked specifically who was the one who was the traitor amongst the merchant lords. I know beyond a shadow of a doubt it is him. Please roll me persuasion. (laughs) You have any uh, inspiration? (laughs) Nope, but I have a plus four, so it's one of my better ones. Yeah. The Red Lion Knights are pretty much based around persuasion. Let's That's hope good. I don't carry it up. You're right. <laughs> you didn't! I'm so proud of you! Her oh, eyebrows wow. raise for a second as soon as you mention a sphinx in a very... <laughs> seriously? And then she takes a second, seems to dismiss the ridiculousness of the statement, and takes it at face value. So... Vincent, the problem is, he's only a traitor in as far as he goes against the interests of, I guess we'll call them the legally operating merchant lords. 
He hasn't actually done anything illegal, from my understanding. Nothing that we can at least show anymore. Hmm. With what happened to the mine. Right. I assume that Murkwire's injuries are because of you. Yeah. And now he's playing them off as things that he had acquired while he was fighting against the actual bandit lord. The fictitious bandit lord. Yeah. And do you have any... It would be convenient if you did. Do you have any proof that would help to convince the public or other merchant lords that that's not the case? We didn't take his sword or anything. Hmm. The only proof that we had, unfortunately, probably left with Raleigh. Even if you'd had a weapon of his, tying it back to him would still be required. Yeah. Hmm. Did you Hard perhaps to manage to capture any subordinates that would be able to attest to his involvement? Well, we well, you know exactly one captured. Good luck convincing them to do it, though. Yeah, yeah, she's a bit of a wild card. Whom? Um, his Sorin. witch. Yeah. Oh, the Kitsadrian woman, the one that had tricked us before, mm -hmm. and had originally gone against Merkwire's Merkwire's orders. Yeah. Oh, she's here too, by the way. <laughs> yeah, she's that that girl in the tournament. Scarlet. Interesting. Lovely. Yeah. <sighs> Fantastic. She it's seems to have lost interest in Murkwire, however. At least hopefully. I mean, okay. she did kind of betray him. She's very fickle, but I don't think that she's dumb enough to try to go back to him after what she did to him. She tilts her head as if to be like, hmm, what? They were after some sort of a gym or something. Something that he wanted for people called the, the Talons of Azarul. Have you heard of it? I'm going to go ahead and roll a thing. <laughs> <laughs> Give me one moment. Ooh. I wanted to talk to Diane so bad, but I didn't. Let's I couldn't like, figure it out. Have their ears the up the door. Yeah, <laughs> like right up against the door, listening. Logan, do we hear like all of this or <laughs> flux right I'm... next to you guys? Like, <laughs> <leaving> <laughs> the... <laughs> what's going on? Shut <laughs> it! Oh, I apologize. It's a weird prayer stance. In our yeah. dealings regarding mm. magical items. Yes, I've heard that name come up several times in regards to uh, particularly ancient cursed weapons. <sighs> Merkwire was working for them and probably still is. If he gets this city, then whoever they are get this city. Oh, they're... Mm -hmm. The Talons of Azharul are, as far as legends state... A series of arch fiends. It's, they're not... There's not much information on them, but from what I can recall of them, they shouldn't be around. Supposedly, they were destroyed a long time ago. Most of their legends revolve around them having been wiped off the face of the planet by the Eidolans. That's at least who he thinks he's working for. <clears throat> Interesting. It's possible it may just be a cult that claims to be them. There are those that act in the name of the Talons of Oz who roll fairly frequently, but they're usually nothing more than fanatics. So what do we do? Well, Edrigan he just, like, looks have... around at everybody else like, you're all smarter than me, what do we do? <laughs> Edrigan doesn't have to vote. He wouldn't have been able to vote for himself to begin with, so that doesn't actually change his eligibility. But the fact that he's being asked not to vote means that Merc Wire is probably trying to reduce the number of votes for other candidates. Not that there are that many options. 
One could be led to believe that this may be one of several gambits that he's trying to do. He probably is going to try to win the favor of all of the merchant lords. There are six voting. And as long we as We already know get, where one is voting. Which means if he manages to win the vote of another two of them, assuming Edrigan does not vote, then he would be able to take the place of the High Lord. Just two. Ugh. So then would we have to, like, convince the other people to vote for Edrigan? Even if we if Edrigan can't vote, then that means that there's one less vote for any of the other ones besides Edrigan. <sighs> I and had of heard. Him. I had heard that there was a possibility that Vindy might be proposing someone. Most of the merchant lords don't actually care very much for the position of high lord. Usually, it's a matter of trying to put someone in a position of power who would be beneficial for them. But since we've had a high lord for the last thirty years without an election, it's not something that comes up often. Mm. But there have been whispers that Vindy, who you would have caught a glimpse of in the tournament, is going to propose her own candidate. I want Edrigan to win, but in theory, if we wanted to go against Murkwire, then perhaps we could try to direct votes towards them. Do you think it's about time that Edrigan knows who's backing him? It'll Do be I... hard to convince him otherwise not to vote. As regardless of that, I'd rather support a man who knows he's allegedly guilty of something than have him be blissfully unaware. And he's smarter than I think he gets credit for. You don't get to where he is without the support of somebody. To be clear, you're suggesting that I tell him the actual nature of who I am and what his business has been doing. Yes. in the hopes that he will continue his pursuit to become High Lord, with me standing at his side, running a criminal enterprise as his advisor. He could. Uh, it, it would probably... Oh, it would be difficult for him to get rid of you, or accuse you of something right now anyways, without destroying his own eligibility, if you wish to maintain his pursuit of being High Lord. And if he gives up, then it wasn't meant to be in the first place. But to accuse you now, or even just to remove you from his services at this point, would be political suicide. I imagine if I were to be removed from his service, Edrigan would probably within a year lose his status as a merchant lord. Much of his success comes from me. Hmm. Roll Besides, from what we... Roll me a persuasion check. Ooh, ten. Ooh. <laughs> all right. Besides, from what we know about all of you, you weren't as bad as what we originally thought. The greater good maybe might apply with him. Stop you are helping him change this city. Hmm. It's a wrinkle I would have preferred not to have. Operating in secret was so much more convenient. Sorry will... we didn't... Sorry we didn't... Put him under the ground like we thought. He says we didn't. <laughs> if you did kill him. He seemed somewhat exhausted and hurt when he fought. It's possible that he may have had somebody bring him back. If he has a cult case. backing him, it wouldn't be unreasonable to think they have some clerics at their disposal. Yeah. It means <sighs> if we kill him again, no, you know, you could just bring him back. Destroy the body or make sure it doesn't fall into their hands. Yeah. Yeah. If you can remove something important, that really puts a wrench in the gears at least. Like his head. 
That would do yeah. it. At the very least, that would test exactly the extent of what we're dealing with. If they could bring him back in full condition, that despite that, then we have bigger problems than an election. Man, bigger problems than him. At that point, if he were to be the subject of any kind of resurrection on that level, the Academy should probably get involved. Yeah. Though if we kill him, we'll have the whole city against us. If we mm. can't prove that he was the bandit lord. Indeed. Right now, yes. And if you were to attack him right now, I would tell you that it would also look from the outside as if your guild was trying to eliminate a competitor in the tournament. Yeah. And given the nature of some discoveries that could be made about the true nature of several of you. She meets eyes with you, Vogan. If you were put under any kind of public scrutiny and that were to come out, that would not look good. Yeah. So, should we just wait until the tournament's over? I think the key thing here, and I'll put some work into this, is finding out exactly what his connections to other merchant lords are. Mm. What will he do to try to win their favor? That might be worth looking into Vincent specifically. We could tie him to the bandit lord of Mott somehow. Whether through business transactions or whatever he's giving him. I doubt yeah. that Mark Wire contacted him simply for the nomination. They likely have some sort of arrangement elsewhere. Mm. Vincent's in charge of <clears throat> construction, right? Mm hmm. It's possible that he was lending supplies to build the tunnel that was recently destroyed. If we can find any. Uh, any transactions on the ledgers that don't add up, that would be a first place we could look for at least loose threads to pull. We had originally thought that they were trying to dig under the city. That's I'm still not very sure. Possible. I'm not sure how grounded those thoughts are anymore, but we are still planning on going under the city soon. Maybe keep an eye out on this side. They might have done some sort of preparations. I will do what I can to try to look into the financial backgrounds and recent transactions of Vincent and anyone associated with him. I can do that much, both from my position as Edrigan's secretary and my other position. If I find anything suspicious, then we might be able to use it, and if we could discredit him, his nomination of Markwire would fall flat. The problem with that is if he does have his teeth sunk into any of the other merchant lords, then they could just nominate him themselves. Of course, yeah. then there would be fewer votes to deal with. The other lords, Agravain, Vindy, and, Ma and Magrid, as well as Lilywind herself. Lilywind is abstaining from voting, if I recall correctly. Hmm. So that only leads three. I can't imagine he has his teeth in Agravain. That seems like a difficult prey to catch. And even if he did, the people backing her have a bit more sway, I think. Agravain so, uh, is almost entirely unconcerned with the happenings in the city, as long as commerce is good. <clears throat> yes. So I doubt and we just need to convince her that this... Mark that this person is not the bandit lord slayer, but in fact the bandit lord himself. And hopefully she'll come around. As for Vendy, if she has her own person to vote for, that just leaves Margaret. If there was to going to be a weak link or any point of failure in this whole thing, it would be Margaret. The man is a fool. <clears throat> if he were promised enough ale, I'm sure that he'd vote for anyone. <clears throat> It may be worth looking into him and finding out what he knows. But he's not my sort. Well, I prefer I to deal with close. people that have secrets to hide. <laughs> Whenever I called him out, Vincent invited me to speak with him. What do you think I should do about that? Given what he's done so far, I would assume that anything Vincent does, assuming that he knows who you are, which he should, 
is likely a trap to try to defame you in the future. He's already taken credit for the things that you've accomplished. And there's really no way to disprove that. And Murkwire has a strong reputation behind him as a gladiator and a celebrity. So it's not hard for the public or other merchant lords to believe that those things are true. So if you're going to meet with Vincent, I would say that be wary of any social traps. They're mm. likely looking to set you up to implicate you further. If you ever step out of line, that is. Mm. Uh. And if he knows about Vogan or about Lexi, remember that those are things that he is probably going to use if he needs to. If the highest we can standard... Assume. Be if the highest standard becomes Edrigan's greatest ally, then his primary goal should be to tear you down and make you an enemy of the public at large. <sighs> we should go under the assumption he knows everything. About Lexi, about Vogan, about Aristo. I can almost guarantee he knows about me and Lexi, at least. Yeah. If Merkwire knew, then he should know. Yeah. And you were all under his, uh, his lock and key for a week, if I recall, so... Mm. I can't see why he wouldn't. Mm -hmm. Is there any other way of dealing with Merkwire during this tournament before he gets all of the people behind him? Well, we could beat him in the tournament. Yeah, muffled. Beat him. We could beat him up. <laughs> <laughs> Would beating him be enough? Not enough, yes. but it discredited him a little bit at least. I tried to call out that. I tried to call out that we don't know his prowess, but apparently he's rather popular. I didn't know. Mm hmm. Mark Wire is a celebrity gladiator. He was a champion from Sermon Way, where gladiatorial events like the Glass Crown are commonplace. My understanding of his background is he found his way to the top after a lifetime of combat, and then after several years of staying at the top, retired saying that he had higher callings that he wanted to see to, and vanished. The next time he popped up, he was here. I have been looking into it ever since you dropped his name with us, when I've been able to publicly look for it, and his name has been turning up across the country. Before the whole Bandit Lord issue happened, he was looking around, making connections. Eventually he hooked up with us, as you know, but he had been searching for something, and at one point tried to petition a group to help him explore the Skywall. There was a guild that went with him. I don't know much about them. I haven't looked into that specifically. He hired them to look for something within the sky wall. They never reported back or accepted the reward, and that guild, I don't believe, has returned, but I think that Murkwire must have found whatever he was looking for. After that, the Bandit Lord rumors started up again. It's probably not of immediate importance. But it may be worth eventually looking into exactly what he was looking for that set him on this path. I only have one last question. Hmm. How quickly can you get a message to the land away? By legal means? By um, any means. By any means, I could get a message there today. Mm hmm. Whenever me and Kitty left, we weren't left with who the bandit lord was, but we were left with a name. If Unk Unk, if my uncle, if he knew the name, then he may have something on him. Anything. Name? We were looking for Murkwire. That's why we were here. If we can find something to tie him to our missing artifact or anything. 
Oh yes, you came to this country because we had helped to steal that. They I told should note us that exactly it, would, it would likely to be go. easier to tie Edrigan to the theft of it than it would be to tie Murkwire, if I'm being honest. <sighs> I should also let you know ahead of time, in case it's relevant, that in, in any communication with the bandit lord, I, of course, sent all letters from Edrigan to make them look as official as possible. So they're likely in possession of a lot of correspondence that directly ties Edrigan and contains his signature and seal regarding the thefts, which some of which involved stealing from other merchant lords. I feel it's fair that you know that. The whole thing was a fairly airtight operation. Uh, assuming the other side didn't decide to do this. He you could were thorough. Hmm. <laughs> he just nods like you were thorough. <laughs> this whole thing is a blemish on the family's reputation. If it were to get out, then I would feel disgraced. So, as much as normally I would say that this is putting you in our debt for our help, consider us to be on your side. Huh? In as far as in as far as we can extend that courtesy. If the situation changes and is made more beneficial for us, then of course we have to do what's good for the business. Then I guess we're just sending a message will probably do more harm than good then. Never mind. Defaming Murkwire may be a way to go. Enraging him to attacking you in the city would definitely uh, sour his public image. Mm -hmm. If the city could be turned against him, even if the merchant lord's vote is all that matters, a city that doesn't respect him as a high lord would it be a hindrance to his plans. But I leave those details to you. I'll do what research I can to try to dig up more information. I guess until then, we just have to be more likable. <laughs> You've yeah, done an extraordinary difficult. job considering your members. <laughs> I don't know what you The hot dog from earlier. He's like, finally. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, of course. What? Regarding what, member? <laughs> oh my god. god. You've ha you have had some. You have had some political problems in the city regarding being hunted and a merchant lord previously turning against you and. Other such things that you should also keep in mind before you take any rash actions. You're not saints in the eyes of the public. Yeah. You're also associated with Iocane. <laughs> and they're considered, they're considered to be... Borderline Extreme. criminal. <laughs> Makes That's, sense. I'll try to be better. I didn't expect to fight Kitty the first time I stepped onto the ring. I was a little shocked, but I'll try to get us back on the good side of the people. We gave you a week. Yeah. <laughs> you? I hope you don't fight me. Ugh. And if we do, then we have to make a good show of it. <laughs> Before you rip off my face. <laughs> I'm kidding. No! Oh, I won't rip no. off your face. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> normally, I, I, would consider this, I would consider this to be uh, not terribly sporting normally, but since we're trying to rig things back in your favor, I should let you know a detail about tomorrow that I don't know if you could do anything with it, but the matches tomorrow aren't going to be one-on-one -on -one like they were today. <gasps> My understanding really? from Lily Wind is that you're going to be randomly assigned into groups of two mm -hmm. and have to fight on a team uh, trying to eliminate the other team. So there's a strong chance one of you may be paired with Murkwire. Interesting. 
Also, you see that Quinn started to smile like, oh, things are turning in my oh. Also, <laughs> tomorrow is the last day before the merchant lords decide on their sponsorships. We also need to consider that if he is weak from coming back, we only have a few days before he'll be back to his full regular self. And I think every single person here kind of <laughs> feeling at some of the scars on his chest knows uh, exactly what he's capable of. Yeah. Based mm. off of when you contacted me, at most... He'll be exhausted until the third day of the tournament, but there's no match then. If you can't manage to eliminate him by that point, be it losing in combat or you don't happen to be put up against him and so don't have a chance to, then he'll probably be back to full strength by the third round. He'll have a full day of rest on the third day. We've beat him before. We can beat him again. Hmm. Even if it does get to that point. Hey, Flux, what are you doing? Um, let's see. I guess I'm standing at the bottom of the stairs where they left me. Just almost completely motionless. Outstanding. <laughs> I, I, like, I assume I'm we're going to be ending this conversation I'm trying soon. to keep you involved. I'm, I, I, so are we. I, it's I, yeah, I appreciate it. I assume we're going to be ending it's this conversation to soon. This <laughs> we're just listening I, in and doing, like, rock, paper, scissors. Mm-hmm. Occasionally, fucking looking yeah. at Flux, giving him the fucking the fingers at the eyes and back you'd be, him. You'd be, like, like me. you'd be up and down a hall and then around a corner. You wouldn't be within. Oh, never mind. Yeah. Thank you That's for the information, then. Diane. <laughs> I will consider, Miriam. I will consider allowing Edrigan to know what's going on, so that maybe he could get ahead of it. But if he doesn't react favorably, then I can't tell you what we I... have to do. I can't imagine that modifying someone's memories is beyond your capabilities. That's correct. That still creates but, a point of failure, though, if ever that were to be fixed, and it could be, it could implicate us. Ultimately, we have to come to grips with the fact that he either needs to know who's working with him, or we need to realize that he's more of a puppet and less of a lord. Anyone who wishes to rule needs to know what's on the other side of his city. Whether or not you work with it is his own choice, but if he ignores it, or if he thinks he's uninvolved or unrelated, then that's a mistake. If that's the case, he doesn't deserve to be the High Lord. <laughs> I respect your if, idealism. If it would help, could you tell him about the times you were helping us? Maybe show yourself in a better light. And all I the good we've done in the city. He's a little sick of people lying to him, is all. Speaking of lies, uh, I think it's about time you two went on your date. <laughs> well, that was, that I mean, was a lie! <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I was so invested! Well, Kitty, that was a means to an end. We don't have to, I mean, there's no reason at this point to go. I mean, a noble knight walks out of a tournament with a reputable figure from around town makes their way directly to a guild and they split part <laughs> right after leaving uh, the rumors could start quinn we need to make this date convincing the I'm, gonna have to, I'm gonna have to hang out with the rest of you for the rest of the night aren't i <laughs> uh uh i'll pray you for know you. some fine dining places around here diane don't you i have a better idea your kid Sadria is with you, is she not? I yeah. go over to the door and open it up. Lexi! <laughs> fall through the door. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fall through. Hi. Hey. Hmm? For the good What's of up? the nation, I'm going to need you, Lexi, to disguise yourself as me and go on a date with Quintus. <laughs> uh... uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so it's much for better. the good of the nation, you Lexi. See, you, you, just see him put shoulders. A, you see him put his hand on the table, like, oh, that's so much better. <laughs> if we're yeah, speaking of points of failure, I mean, I'm just going to, like, hover my hand around Diane's height and then lower it to Lexi's. There's a <laughs> lot of people who might wish to speak with you, and I mean, you're fairly well known around the city. Also, like, wh like what's going to happen to you? Like, if someone sees you and i'm looking like you there's gonna be a whole bunch of diane's going around that's gonna be weird 
I just think this date needs to happen. Mm, without Lexi. Uh, hand on yeah, by all shoulders. means, we don't all need to be there. Just the two of you. <laughs> Logan, how tall is Diane? Di uh, she is 5'7". I don't think I can reach that. <laughs> how tall are you? Fuck, let me check. I'm You're like 4'3", aren't you? I think so. I think, yeah, oh you, you, my you would... God. You, I can't no reach it. You could be you short, Diane. Get, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'd be too You're short, so yeah. cute. <laughs> Also, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be the right height to be you. I can't. I can't be as tall as you. So I'm anyone really paying work. attention, uh. people will be paying attention. Mm-hmm. Yeah, really, really pretty. Lexi can't do it. Her schedule's filled. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I was thinking we could all go get some nice bread. Um, and uh, <laughs> you no two such can go nice bread. do whatever. <laughs> Diane takes her glasses back out of the pocket she put them in, she snaps oh. them open, lets out a very exasperated sigh, and puts her I'm glasses sorry. on, closes her eyes, puts her glasses on her face. So, where will you be taking me tonight, Quintus? <laughs> well, thank you. Uh, I. Suppose uh, he fumbles around with his money to make sure he has some left over because he didn't actually count oh. how much was missing. Uh, I'm going to give Quinn a hundred gold pieces. <laughs> nice, dude. I have, oh. I have, I have a big guy. <laughs> I have, I, I have fucking. Oh, fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Spend it all. <laughs> that's <laughs> not oh. an ask. Like, look, that's just, like, a looks demand. At it, oh. Looks at it. Looks back to her. Wherever you'd like to go. <laughs> Oh, I would have no idea what to do. I'm entirely at your disposal. Damn! Oh, Somewhere yeah. very public. <laughs> I think we should go. I, 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 we he's have like, other matters uh, to take care of. I'm afraid I'm entirely <laughs> lost when it comes to matters of socializing, my lord. <laughs> <laughs> I might need a bag here in a minute. Starts Two minutes! Two minutes! He just looks to her like he's just like looking more and more flustered by the second. He's like, uh... Two minutes, and he rushes out. Oh. I'm going to Journeys. <laughs> yeah, <I knew> <laughs> Fenders will, like, watch Quintus go and turn to Miriam. There's someone you need to talk to. I can't do it. You well, see... Again. She closes her eyes as he rushes out. She takes another breath, and you see her shoulders raise slightly and get tense. She clasps her hands in front of her and then just breathes out. You are all far, far more trouble. Then you will ever be worth. <laughs> oh, God. You know that's not true. Uh, I pray that one day you betray us. And uh, she <laughs> <laughs> walks out of the room. Journey, and we're she... gonna spend a hundred gold! <laughs> <laughs> she stays beside the room's door waiting for Quintus to come back. I would say, without going into specifics, Journey, <laughs> when you, if you go down to Journey's uh, room, you, he is back. He looks pretty beat up, because he, he had his fight with Blister. You see there's a couple uh, large holes in his armor that he um, appears to be trying to, to patch up. You're not exactly sure how Warforged repair themselves, because you haven't seen a lot of them, but he seems to just be putting patches onto himself where there's, like, damage, but he doesn't seem terribly worried about it. You don't get the sense that it'll be permanent. Um... He would let you know a series of attractions, some restaurants. His his recommendations are very... I've heard that these places are acceptable. I was How walking expensive? By, I was walking by this attraction earlier, and people were yelling, I assume it was fun. Uh, he... Second opinion. Flux! Uh, uh, well, I, guess, I guess Quintus already knows about him. As long as I don't have Flux. to talk. He <laughs> rushes out, and you hear your name get yelled as a as the night returns to you. You're the only per I'm the only person I know here. I actually don't even know you. Hello, my name is Quintus Valor, but where where can I spend money? Oh, it is a pleasure to meet you, Master Quintus. And I do not know. I have been here about one day. You're useless. To I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you will never join our guild. <laughs> I banish you! <laughs> My apologies. I banish you. You are banished from Summergrass. That is fair. I shall leave at once. 
<laughs> uh, I, I, he can't do that. He's he's not even nobility here. He's just nobility. You uh, prevented my groove! Journey comes out. I'm sorry, you've prevented Quintus's groove. <laughs> uh, I banish you. <laughs> Goodness. I apologize profusely. But no, um, upon hearing that from Journey and the second opinion from the random other warforged I saw, um, I will return up to the top and I'll be like, I vote. I'm ready. Are you ready? I think we're ready. Certainly. <laughs> He's so ready. Good. Mm -hmm. He certainly seems ready. All right. Have fun, you two. Bye. Bye. <laughs> she have fun. Becomes giddy far more. Uh, her appearance, <laughs> she doesn't lose the intellectual edge she has as a, uh, when she's performing her role as a secretary, but uh, she takes on a much more girlish, giggly vibe as if she's excited to be going out with someone of higher status than her. Every time you guys pass out of sight of anyone, though, you do feel that energy drop off. Like, if you turn corners, oh. go like through alleys, go anywhere where no one's looking, there is a distinct drop of <sighs> to the entire day. Oh, um, no. Whenever, someone, whenever she's you go, like someone being... whose time is being thoroughly wasted. I whenever you, it. whenever you, whenever it gets to the point where like she's all giddy and stuff, he's like very tense. And then whenever she's like, ha, ah, he's like, oh thank god. <laughs> <laughs> uh, could you roll me? Could you roll me a roll me a performance check? Well, oh. well if you do specific things, that's uh, well, we'll go into it. But roll me a performance check to see how entertaining Quintus manages to be through the evening. Oh. I've already used my inspiration. Damn! <laughs> Quick, Quintus, you saving face. Quintus, Quick. please. Quintus, please, don't do this. Oh! oh, yeah. oh, yeah. inspiration. oh yeah. You find as the night progresses, though she definitely seems like she would like to be doing other things, um, as time goes on through the evening, Diane does seem to come around. At one point, she does seem to relax and uh, seems to enjoy spending time with you. You start making small talk about the politics of the uh, of the land away. I will note. Roll me insight to see if I will note. Because <laughs> I might not I, note. I, I could note. note. Oh. I will note. Whenever you talk about the land away, she does seem to steer into asking about the Lions Council and exactly how their uh, exactly what their chain of command is like, how your, like, military works, talks about your finances. You notice that she casually steers the conversation towards the, the government mechanisms by which your country functions, and you do clock that at one point. You're like, you're certainly trying to learn a lot about our government. And you... I would not, I would, I would not hold back on anything he would think was not extremely relevant. Those are the so, times when she seems the most interested. Um, hmm. When you event, uh, when you mention that it is uh, their government is completely done by committee, she does ask for that to be expanded upon. Um, when you mention there's someone at the head of Lions Council, you find her basically asking, in other words, do they have any kind of advisors? Do they who who stand like what what are, what what is their process for making government decisions? Um, and that's, that's where she shines the most over the evening. It's where she finds uh, the most interesting conversation. I don't think anything in particular would happen, but again, noting again with that with that not with that with that not nineteen. Um, mm -hmm. I'd like to I'd like to think that he would have n made note that she seemed to like it whenever there wasn't a lot of people around, and after like again going for any sort of dinner or anything related activity, he would probably mostly like try to stick to. Uh, the less partied areas uh, for the festival and like mostly just like walking around and like chatting and like finding like, like nice quiet places, mm -hmm. uh, you know, and like, again, keeping up the conversation and he, if, it, if that's all she wants to know about, like he's obviously suspicious, but at the same time, it's like, no, all this stuff is public is, is information you that a, you would normally get whatever 18 it. she makes no real effort to hide the fact that yeah her interest seems to be coming from this is a woman that is trying to identify possible exploits in uh your your system of government mm. um and points of failure especially because the land away is the only place in the continent that has a committee that serves as a high lord even summergrass has the merchant lords but then they have a high lord who has complete control uh, yours is the only country that functions based off of proper committee. 
I think um, that the most interesting thing he would tell her, and I'm not sure if you still have it this way, but this is what you told me in the beginning of Quintus's stuff, is that basically, like, they still listen to, like, everything, all the other High Lords and, like, you know, things listen to. They still listen to the kingdom and they still listen to all that stuff, but they also are, have been known, or at least, you know, have, have been said that they would, like, not have to or something like that. You had said, like, they, uh could like 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 they they could disobey or something like that at one point i think um disobey the royal family you mean yeah they definitely shouldn't um, they shouldn't te obviously technically but... anyone can uh mm -hmm. but no there it's the the main difference is you have a figurehead it's your uncle currently who yes. acts as the quote unquote high lord but they can't make any decisions that are not supported by the rest of the lions council yeah um the, which is a uh, unique. I think maybe you're thinking of when I told you that your the knights of your uh, your kingdom they more directly serve the royal family, and that when they come out of that uh, might have been it, yeah. When they come out of heaven's jaw, the it's very common for the uh, the lions council knights to travel with them and escort them and such. That might have been it, yeah. Yeah. Um. But yeah. He would. He wouldn't. He wouldn't hold anything back, especially because it's like you know she's looking for exploits, and he's like, "Well, I already know it's been exploited." <laughs> I'd like you to roll me, because if you're gonna spend a while talking, I would like you to roll me. Roll me another insight check, because talking to Diane is, for a long period of time, is a. Uh, a mental some traps. Yeah, some the big the I, I almost want to. I I almost feel like Quintus wants to walk into one, but I'll talk to you about that later. Ooh, well, nice. so oh well. God. What the fuck? You're gonna uh, get one, your ass kicked we're gonna, later. We're gonna dude. jump to break here. We're gonna jump to break here Woo. in a second, which is why I'm not yeah. going into the specifics Ooh. of these entire conversations. But <laughs> she will try to weave it at one point. She clearly takes an interest. In, so you retrieved what Mark Wire took then, right? And she, you get the sense she is deliberately asking about what she would believe to be Constella queries, and if you have them. You rolled an 18, you can choose to, to avoid that or lie to her if you want to, but I will let you know that in far more subtle terms, she is trying to goad out of you if you have found Constella queries and how many you have. Ah. She knows about Mariam's. Um, Come oh, on, no, be she cool, doesn't know Quintus. About Marys, I believe. Yeah, be cool, man. Be cool, Quintus. Be cool. Well, she would. She also helped in stealing the uh, the item, right? She helped in stealing the box. She didn't know entirely if there was a Constella query within it. She just helped to steal the artifact. Logan, this. Uh, can we pause that conversation? And I can talk to you about something later that I want to talk to her about. We can conclude Ooh. that later if you want to. Okay, because um, there's there's something that I wanted I wanted to talk to her about specifically about the land away stuff anyway. So, sure, it'd be a great time to bring it up. <laughs> Oof. All right, heckin. And break. Break. Yeah. Break. Okay. Right, we're an hour and a half. Cool. Ahead. I'd say let's uh, heckin take a break. Cool. I'm gonna cool. Be welcome to the D Dear Fenris show, I guess. <laughs> Lexi's here too. No, she's not. She's about to go pee. Oh, oh well. <laughs> Yo, what up, Ron J. Thickness? The reason that we can have a second episode of a tournament arc and be talking about it is because this that's what we do. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Usually we do have a mansion episode. Heckin' we roleplay around here. <laughs> yeah, we do. Just like fumbling with cards. Hi, it's the Dear Fender show. <laughs> and uh guys, heckin' talk to Flux. I'm sorry you came in at a very weird time. I'm sorry that you came. I'm sorry that you came in when we were talking to the secret criminal boss. Right? Yeah. Uh, you glad to hear me say your name? Okay. Yeah. Ron I'm J. Thickness. May I ask, Ron J. Thickness, why is the J capitalized and not the thickness? Ronge. Ronge? Facts. I don't know. That's my guess. <laughs> we role play around here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know okay. you just want to get to the fighting, but I'm just saying that it'll be much sweeter if you get into it if you can find a way that your character really connects with the combat. So, why is it? Just think about it. Work with me here for a second. 
Why does your character want to engage in Mortal Kombat? And don't tell me it's to survive. That's too <laughs> easy. Mm -hmm. Ron Jeremy. I see. Okay. I liked Ronj better. Yeah, Ronj. Heck <laughs> Listen, Flex. So did Flex. Diane deliberately <laughs> implicate the guy she wants to get elected for a bunch of crimes? Oh, I yes. Because, is she a, sure she's a master criminal? Ooh. Are you insinuating anything about this situation is normal? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'll be right back. Yep. Heckin. Fenris. Oh boy. Oh, a flux. A flux. <laughs> you, you just have to call her master, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he calls everyone master. I'll be right back as well. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's, that, now that's, that's a choice. <laughs> <laughs> one that I'm beginning to think was the correct one. Oh, sure. Oh, is he? <laughs> Oh. What's yeah. wrong? You're just being very respectful. Yeah, man. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> she's like, it's, it's Fenris. And he's like, Master. <laughs> and she's like, no. <laughs> I don't know how to, how to handle you. <laughs> I need to find someone else to speak to you because clearly everything I say is incorrect. No, not everything you say it's is incorrect. It's fine, it's fine. No, they could be friends. I know they can, I <laughs> believe it. I return. <laughs> I sent you a message, Logan. Oh, there we go, message. Time. I mean, who, would call, who wouldn't call Fenris Master? It's a more of a question of how many people would Fenris say, please don't, and that would be... All of them. <laughs> now I'm that sounds fine to me, Nico. <laughs> Master bread. Nah, the best I, bread. I don't care. I mean. Master bread. I'm obviously the queen of Dom. Uh, I dominated <laughs> islands, and no, I didn't sieve. <laughs> Every, everyone kicks my ass and sieve. But <laughs> would you prefer Fenris Hime? <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now you're Fenris just being a, now oh. you're just being a weeb, and I don't know how to take that. Fenris calls him a weeb. I'm, I'm, glad, I'm glad that I'm glad that it worked, and I can sell off the entire party. What? Oh, nothing. I didn't say what. <laughs> yeah, if someone's oh, gonna oh, do oh. it, it will be fucking you. Ah, oh, shit. Fenris don't know. Be in a thought bubble. No, stop. <laughs> I hate this so much. I hate this. <laughs> I uh, oh. Fenris has so many objections to this. It is it is Fenris. Oh, countless is. objections. And so now countless. she's like, oh, Mary, many I... objections. You know what I've been really happy about? Mm. Basically, as of the tournament began, and uh, <coughs> this is this is me thanking you guys, I guess. Um, you guys as a group have been using a lot more of the terms relevant to the setting and have been fucking remembering the merchant lords and understanding <laughs> the politics hey. of the city. And I'm I so... Well, I, I think you have more than... You have a habit of thinking there's more than there is. Okay. Um, you do. But um, I'm just... I'm very happy because I'm like... I don't know. It's just very nice to see you guys engaging with it in that way yee yee yeah. I, I, I appreciate the effort on your guys part as players no because I Aww. feel a lot of you so it's and just then we're gonna leave the me. city and it's never gonna happen again <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's just it's, I guess it's like really nice to be at a point where we're talking about like the world and you guys aren't being like okay so Logan like sidebar is this the case about this thing all the time it's just you guys have done Logan, a really good job sidebar, when do I hit him oh. <laughs> I'm I'm sure if my character was more involved in like the politics stuff, I'd be more involved <laughs> with the yeah. politics stuff. I get that. I, I, get, I get why it's mostly Quintus and Miriam, but yeah, like I'm not gonna expect it from people. Though. Dude, this I is mean, freaking what me and Kitty came in with, man. This, I, I'm so happy Oof. to be at this point. You're still you're um, still talking about things and like understanding, like the merchant lords. You seem to know who you're talking about when you're talking. That's 
Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. It's I true. Have, <laughs> I have zero brain cells, so don't quiz Same. me what they're, like, oh my what they're in charge of. Oh no, that's fine. Let's let's be honest. Fantasy Grounds is a great tool. Whenever stuff like that happens, I also bring up a thing and I'm like. Yep. And construction and yep. maintaining art projects. Cool. Cool. Literally every time Vindy comes up, I'm just like, ah, the textiles lady. You would like Aww. Vindy. Uh -huh. She's in charge of textiles. Textiles. <laughs> and <laughs> luxury items. It's, just, it's the high lord, and he's just like talking about the merchant lords. Like, yes, Vindy's in charge of. You just see him roll up his sleeve and looks at his arm. Textiles and clothing trade. <laughs> style uh, cheat you mean he cheat lifts up his arm, arm, reveals scales? <laughs> reveals a dragon. No, he's a dragon. <laughs> Got him. Yeah. Well, there we go. Now, now Flux can join the party, and I'll sit back here and have my date, <laughs> which yeah. went rather well for somebody who didn't want to uh. be on a date with me. Yeah. Just saying. Yeah, it's, uh, so it's, 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 it's a pitfall of anyone who commits to trying to make their own full setting to be like, ah, <laughs> I hope that I hope the it's retained and is not just a bunch of stuff. So I'm just I'm very pleased and I'm mm. very grateful that you guys. Heck yeah, man. Stuff. Uh, heck yeah, bad. <laughs> she heck looks at his arm. She's stressful. in charge of texting styles. Wait, <laughs> textiles. <laughs> I think that's one of the. One Direction what? kids, like right. a, 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 a fabric. <laughs> he just looks. Oh he's like, God. I can't read this. Who told? Who got the Sorry, dyslexic the, the, guy to write this stuff? So the ink was a bit smudged. Mm. Um. Oh, totally Mulan style. Yeah. <laughs> also, yeah, I was thinking about that. Like, I was like, Miriam can alter so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's true. Uh, but also, my... I felt like Miriam, of all people, would be like, no, no, go out with Quintus. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Logan, by the way, uh, don't make me roll anything else today. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, have, I, have, I have a good I have a good record, and I, I'm yeah. just saying. Yeah, you're doing really good today. Yeah. <laughs> Brad, why do you keep reconnecting? I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm not doing anything that would like incite Stop reconnecting. It. I'm not trying. Hear me though. out. Vogan runs for High Lord. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh my god. Vogan runs for High Lord like Leorio runs for fucking. Uh, I was gonna Hunter. say, just so he could do it and then throw it at someone yeah. else. <laughs> just fully against his oh. will. Everyone loves him anyway. Yeah. Dude, he's like, I, I don't, don't want to be do. here. Woo! <laughs> My first act will be killing all the drow. Who fucked <laughs> 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 oh, up? Oh man! <laughs> oh my lord, Tannis! I just saw your heckin' sketch of the lady, and I'm 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 heckin'. Yeah. It. What? It's oh, here good. I go. There's a lady sketch. I would like. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be totally honest. Oh, I'm gonna be totally honest. Oh, no, her being no. the thumbnail for today's game means nothing. I just. Was like, let's start, like her. let's start putting tournament characters on these things. Hell yeah! <laughs> Hell yeah! And there's also some potential potential designs for for the for the flex boy. It, I know. Actually, I like I wanna, those. Izzy, I want to talk to you about that one earlier, actually, or to later. Yeah. I want to talk to you about it yesterday. Is that cool? Yeah, we'll do. We'll do. It yesterday. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just go back in time. And we'll hash it up. It's great. Yeah. <laughs> Now, did we create uh, an alternate timeline, or are we in the mm. like? Oh yeah, God, which theory of time question. travel? Are we did I with still here? date Diane in this timeline, or was it Lexi? You. <laughs> it would be Diane. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, funny. Look, I'm just saying. No, I'm, I'm we just. I'm just saying. We just saw Quintus be very much more happy that it was Lexi instead of Diane for a moment. Aww. <laughs> but then it had Get to be Diane that again, shit, boy. <laughs> Sorry, I'm unable to be as tall as Diane. <laughs> <laughs> well, like the way that the way that I like am seeing Quintus is that again, he's mostly just been so. in like dinner parties and stuff. So going on an actual date is like, uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, I will, I will point out that just, she knows a great many things. Diane wouldn't know the specifics of your shape shifting. I know. Oh, it's like, like, oh, sorry, like, bitch. Oh, we use, <laughs> use like... disguise self as like the uh, as the heckin. Um, stand in for it, but she would have no idea. As far as she knows, she's like, Katsadria can look like people. 
Yeah, full, I figured. Full stop. <clears throat> like, dude, for all she knows, I'm fucking lying to make her go on a date. <laughs> oh, yeah, she's not happy. <laughs> no, no! <laughs> she had fun. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh. Bow, 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 Logan. Bow, 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 bow. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> She doesn't have to love me. She just loved the time we spent together, and then He's we're gonna smooch cool. a bit. I'm kidding. Smooch <laughs> the and then we kill. <laughs> it doesn't have to be tongue this time. We can wait till next time. Yeah, <laughs> it's so gross. yeah. Uh, it's played by ear. Yeah. What a gross statement. <laughs> <laughs> it makes me uncomfortable hearing those words. It doesn't have to be tongue this time. <laughs> well, there's not to be anything this time, good sir. But next, but next time. Ew, ew, okay. ew, 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 Next ew, time ew. there will be no escape. Ew, ew. Well, I, have to, well, I have to have somebody that's, see my U on T-Tone saying... eventually. Oh, shit. Dude, that's a very good question. Wait, is the 4-3 <laughs> including the ears? Is that like toe to tip four three? Uh, <laughs> I, 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 assume toe to not. Tip. I assume not in the same sense that you would not say that Marge Simpson is eight feet tall. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> toe to tip? That's toe to hard. tip is just a different wording. That's I hard. hate you. <laughs> uh, I fucking uh, love that video so much. Every time I've had my height. <laughs> Every time I've had my height measured, they like bring down, they break, bring the thing up, and then like squish it against my skull. So I'm pretty yeah. sure that's how they do it. It's, yeah, it's that's how top. they do. Yeah, that's why like that's why in some of the height things that I release, which I haven't released in a while, I always do it to the assumed like <coughs> top of their head, not their back <coughs> hair. Thank you. It's also, you know, what's like okay. So you know how sometimes I release those size comparison things. <laughs> it's always a I I love the designs that Jeez. Heckin has me does with a passion. But so a lot of times they'll be like in a crouching or attacking position, and I'm like, yeah. this is basically worthless as a height comparison. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like I'm like, That's I have about, to, I have to. Not estimate. to say names, but Tontia, uh... <laughs> right? She uh... like, yeah. she like loses a foot because she's in, in that position. Vlogs, <laughs> uh... how come you didn't know any better places to go? <laughs> I apologize. I will endeavor to do better in the future. Banish you! <laughs> <laughs> that is also fair. Goodbye forever. So what's your, what's comes, your next is character? Third character. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it. It better be a fucking bear. <laughs> it better be. I swear to God. A bear. Can I can I, you know, dog? Make a be make a bear. Make a bear. We don't have to have tongue this time. Can it name be <laughs> encouraged? Can it All be right. Teddy the baby? Is everybody is everybody hacking from back? accounting? I'm Ridiculous. Ready. I think so. Yes. Yo, Aaron, you're here. Ye. All right, oh. let's let's jump back in, my boys. Let's get the second half of this thing done, then show some UBW. Uh, for those waiting for that, uh, the UBW preview. Um, we'll do the rest of the stream, end stream, do the raffle, and then after the raffle, we'll do UBW. We that'll be shown here Wee. and then it will be the VOD will be deleted. So this VOD will not be available uh until it's up on YouTube. You can heck and blame Damn. Patreon for that. <sighs> I'm glad that I found energy. Proud of you. Heck. Mm -hmm. Boop. Mm. All right, let's jump right the heck Same. back in. Jump! Jump! jump. All right, and we are back in. What would you... So, Quintus takes off. Uh, Deco and I have had a word on the side about exactly what he's going to talk about, and we're going to resolve the specifics of that later. <laughs> um, that said, assuming Quintus is gone for the Bye, night, everybody. or at least until, like, 8 or 9, uh, let's say it's currently 5.30, uh, even though that conversation in real time took more than half an hour. Um... Mm -hmm. It, assuming there weren't as many small breaks in the conversation for checks and whatnot, let's say it took a mm -hmm. half hour. You guys, it's 5.30. What would you like to do? Bread. Yes. No, no, I mean, let's go get bread. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. okay. No, no, I would like to do bread. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> oh. Oh. Damn. Damn. Computer monitor. Uh. <laughs> uh. Uh, Marion, there's... And she'll just like point down the hall. Robot. 
Hey, Bugs. Mm. Oh, yeah. That guy was, like, talking to us earlier. Like, he was like, oh, I've heard an awful lot about your guild. And, like, I'd really like to join. And, like... Yeah, this is like the first person who's been like, oh, let me join your guild. Like, normally we're like, do you want to join the guild? So it's like, we, we should make him work for it. Like, right? Right, you guys? <laughs> we should uh, probably see what he wants with us first. I mean, feel. Yeah. That's why I'm saying we make him work. <laughs> we'll make him work, like, work for it. Like, 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 random guy runs out. <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, we don't have to let him in. But, you know. Hmm. He's an interesting person. Hey, Flux. Okay. Yes, Master here. Vogan? Wait, Likes don't call me master. master. Thank okay, you, Master yes. Vogan. I'll kick your ass if you call, that, call me that one more time. Oh, no. An excellent <laughs> start! Here we go! <laughs> <laughs> oh, <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> you just hear like, the sound of like a modem turning over as he's like, calculating <laughs> options. Uh, Fenris, Fenris is like behind Vogue and peeking her head not out, nodding. Another character he hates. Yeah. Just don't Hint. call him master. <laughs> I'm, I'm Please. <laughs> As you wish, Vogan. <laughs> better. <laughs> Fucking does it for Fenris. Doesn't do it for Vogan because Fenris Spencer didn't threaten violence. And and it is it, it Fenris. It's it's. Just Fenris. Master likes you though, that's that's fine. That's fine. I don't care about that, Fenris. What do you want with us? <laughs> oh, um, I was hoping uh, to join your guild. I believe I may be of service to you. And I am in need of friends. Aww. 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 Why are you seeking us out? Why not seek out one of the other guilds? Um, well, I've been... I've been asking around for rumors as to the most powerful guilds, and you seem to come up the most. I thought I would... I thought, thought I would ask. Oh. Damn straight! <laughs> you should. Alright, walk and talk. Follow me. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Yes, sir, Master Marion. Yeah, I can deal with that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> You see, I have uh, traveled here from, from High Wave. I uh, am looking to put together an expedition of sorts to excavate something that I hope to find in the Skywall. Uh, a, a set of pre-Simonian ruins that my master was uh, was looking for. But... Uh, uh, you had me at ruins. <laughs> you had you me see, at ruins. You didn't have them at ruins, but keep going. <laughs> You see, my master, uh, she was an inventor and also something of an amateur uh, archaeologist. And she was, she had recently come across a set of journals leading to what she hoped to be a very important historical find in the Skywall. And uh, everything seemed to be going as usual. But soon afterwards, her colleague seemed to turn against her and imply that she was grasping at straws or that she was not likely to find anything and one night her lab was ransacked and she was killed hmm. so she found something i it hold certainly up, hold seems up. that way doesn't it left here <laughs> just turned oh. on a side street oh yes sir <laughs> um I following behind, I glaring. Yeah, trailing. Yeah, hmm. I'm in the far back. <laughs> mm -hmm. I was not there when it happened, but when I got there, most of my master's research on the topic was gone, perhaps stolen or destroyed. Um, and she seemed to have some very strange wounds. There were three puncture wounds in her chest that were strangely cauterized, and she. Although she wasn't, she didn't respond to any sort of stimulus, she remained alive for quite some time. Oh, yeah, we've seen that around now, town. Now, wait a minute. Yeah. yeah. Mm. That's been going on around here, too. I see that's what brought you here, I assume. Yes, I heard Cycle that similar thing. incidents were happening in this town, and I hope to find in more information. There was also another clue left behind. My master... Managed to scroll something onto the wall with chemicals, 
uh, assume during the struggle, I assume, um, the, they were words that I believe I understand the literal meaning of them, but I don't really understand what she was trying to get at. It, was, it said the Black Talon of Azhul. Huh. Maybe we can't help each other. Do you know which way is north? <laughs> do I? Do I know which way is north? Do I have a compass inside me? Calibrating inside <laughs> compass. <laughs> you okay. roll, roll me a wisdom check. <laughs> Amazing. Okay. Uh oh! Uh, oh no! Uh, well, from my it's research, you, you know that I know that North boy. on those maps is up, so points up. No, you don't, <laughs> you don't have an you don't have an immediate knowledge of where North is. <laughs> I'm sorry, I uh, I don't seem to have my bearings just yet. All right, random chance then. Uh, uh good adventures go left. <laughs> Do I know chance. which way North is? <laughs> Roll me a wisdom check. Ay. Based off the sun in the sky and the the, the mountains, oh? and in the far distance, I can see that, uh, there's uh, a forest and the, the swamp gas. Oh. It's that way. Yes, you know which way north is. Wow. That way. North is that way. <laughs> okay, thank you. Welcome. So thank you, Master Lexi. Lexi. My You're welcome. Connection Regardless of the direction, I'm actually just slowly making my way towards the electorate district. Cool. <laughs> oh, my connection keeps popping in and out. I was trying to roll for that, and it didn't roll either time. Oh, no. Oh, no. I, no. I didn't tell oh, you to roll for that. It's not an invitation for the whole party to make the check, you know. My that, bad. Right? Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> bad. Well, then I'm glad it didn't go through. My bad. Yeah. Oh. It's <laughs> 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 just oh, mid conversation with with who's that way. She's like, "What?" He's like, "Sorry, <laughs> Kitty asked something." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, buddy, uh. I just saw the thing with the dye on Lilywind. It totally does at a glance. Look like a flower in her hair. It's so. Oh cute. yeah. <laughs> it's so cute. It's very cute. Oh, I love it. All right, I can continue. Uh, are you familiar with that term? Uh, we ran into it recently enough. Uh, I don't know about the Black Talon of Azarul, but the Talons in general, we've become, uh, I can't say intimately, that's not true, uh, hmm. but familiar enough with recently. I see. Are they some sort of group of scoundrels? <laughs> you want yeah, to in the broader strokes. Yeah. Hmm. I see. Well, I'm already learning so much from you. I greatly appreciate it. Can you smell? I believe so. Hell yeah! All right, how, so just, <laughs> if you if you smell anything <laughs> delicious, just let me know. <laughs> Will do. Opens up like satellite dish in the middle of the station. <laughs> <laughs> Outstanding. Yeah, we'll get along just fine, I think. <laughs> Logan, while we're wondering, I'm keeping an eye out for foxes. Roll <laughs> like, me constantly. Uh, roll me a perception check. Bye. That's nice. Cool. It's more Elena. That's all good. Uh, um, and I, I don't expect that um, you would just help me for free. I, I do believe I can be of service to your guild. Um, I'm an artificer by trade. I build machines to ac accomplish what some would use to um, accomplish more magical feats. Um, mm. Such as this, pulls out uh, his arcane firearm, which more or less looks like a ah! flintlock pistol with a, with like a, a magic wand jammed into the barrel. I grab it and put it away. <laughs> we were in a city. <laughs> it's fun. We're in the Electra District. No one's going to pay attention here. Yeah. <laughs> I see. I, I wasn't thinking. Thank you for your prudent action, Fogan. Yeah, man. <laughs> he's uh, like pausing every time he's about to say your name. <laughs> <laughs> you just Thank take you a help. pause where the space Vulcan. of master would be, and you just hear your voice like mute. Like you hear an audible. Thank you, Vogan. <laughs> 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 My God, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> uh, 
I will uh, keep a general awareness of my belongings, given that I'm leading everyone into the poorer part of town. Uh, but I'm just going to oh. kind of drag everyone around until I find somewhere that smells nice, and then we're going to go there and eat. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. All That's right. Heck, dude. You're heading into the Electory District. Most of the celebration is in the uh, in the Common District. Um, heckin', but there would be stuff there. It would be not as amazing... Uh, I would definitely be on the more uh, just family diner side yep. of things. All um, right. Miriam's not looking for fancy right now. You find a place that suits your needs. You find a, a small diner that is uh, open air. It looks like it's effectively been set up outside uh, someone's house. You don't have to go too far in the electric district to, district to find it. All the seating is outside. Uh, there is a large open window through which you can see a kitchen. But through a door behind it, you see there are common rooms that would indicate it is, in fact, someone's home as well as uh, their place of work. Um, most of the food being served here is very basic, so if you want to just pay for, like, daily accommodations for, I guess it would be a subpar living, honestly. I will that. pay. F what is it? There's Vogan. Do you eat? <laughs> I, do. <laughs> I can eat, but I do not require it. All right, you can have some food with us. Uh, Lexi, Fenris, I'll give them five gold pieces. No. All righty. That is most kind of you, Master Merriam. More than yeah, enough to pay for anything you want here. Uh, they... You know, I can't, like, eat in public, though. Yeah, but you can, like, eat in the like... later. One second. I'm going to go give them Look a it, no. piece. Uh, ignore oh. my friend. He's quite ugly. Oh. <laughs> oh! How unfortunate. <laughs> not true. No, it's very true. It's not true. Very All right, handsome. there you go. <laughs> what you do? I, I gave them a platinum piece and just said, "Ignore my friend. He's quite ugly." And then I walked oh, back out. They will yeah. leave us alone. Be the owner of this place. Oh. Uh, the person in the kitchen uh, is a uh, female half orc, and the man that is taking your order is a younger male half orc. Uh, they appear fairly well dressed for the Electory District, which you've definitely seen is mostly uh, less fortunate people. Um, mm. But, uh, yeah, the, whenever you pla pass them the platinum piece, they look at it, his eyes go wide, he looks up to you. Uh, uh, you right, absolutely, sir, you, uh... Ask me if there's anything that I can get for you. I'll do it in a heartbeat. Press he just looked at brand. everybody else in the thing. Everybody out! You're walking <laughs> right the street, out of the sir. You're outside, I can't, I can't clear the street. <laughs> <laughs> no, just get me the the hottest bread right out of the oven and whatever Ooh. these people want to eat, and I am happy. Uh, I'm gonna just do a quick up and down the street. Um, I can't imagine anyone's clocking is more so than anyone would clock adventurers. The electory district is emptier than it normally is because yeah. people from it are finding Already minor labor common. work slash attending things that are in the common district because of the festivities. So you would have effective privacy. Yeah. No one's going to pay attention to you here. The people who are here don't care, and <laughs> most of them are here anyways. Yeah, mm. you should just relax, Morgan. Looks at Flux. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. I also think you should relax, Master. If he's going to join our guild, he's going to have to get used to that. Oh, Logan. <laughs> hey, good catch. Good catch. You're getting better. <laughs> <laughs> I am sorry. That was an honest mistake. Please do not inflict violence upon my person. <laughs> I'll save that for tomorrow. <laughs> true. He would disqualify himself if he hurt you, Flugs. Mm -hmm. That is true. This is true. I, uh... <laughs> so if you wanted to call him master, you could technically get away with that until after the Claire <laughs> said Miriam. <laughs> oh, no. I believe that would do little, little to endear me to your group. <laughs> <laughs> she is funny. nasty today. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> if I may make up for my, uh, my fumble, uh, there is something I could do with my skills for you that, uh, might make it harder for you to be relieved of your money in the future. It didn't work for you. Yeah, Wait, I, I was get, thinking the exact same thing. <laughs> yeah. Daddy got robbed. A fox oh, stole his pieces. money pouch. I, did. I have a bag of holding. <laughs> <laughs> that helps. Yeah. yeah. Although uh, technically, oh. if someone knows you keep money in there, they could just reach it and be like, money. <laughs> True. Mm. I see. 
if it isn't a bag of holding, then there's not much I can do. Um, would you be interested, Master Marion? Uh, I, I'm at least curious. <laughs> All right. You know, uh, may I may I see your coin pouch? Sure. He's robbing you. <laughs> <laughs> He'll uh, he'll pull out some like, um, odd yeah. <laughs> he'll take the pouch and uh, pull out some kind of like odd looking kind of like pen like tools and kind of just start inscribing something into the side of your uh, your pouch and then he'll uh, give it back. Now try tapping it. Poke. This is Master Merriam's wallet. Please do not steal. <laughs> That's not gonna <laughs> help. That's not gonna <laughs> <help>. <laughs> <laughs> I love artificers. <laughs> That's funny. I had coin spiders. You have fucking answering machines. <laughs> oh. <laughs> now, That's... if someone attempts to touch your uh, your coin pouch, you should at least be aware of it. I mean, that is fair. Is it gonna do it every time I touch it? Yes. <laughs> Maybe it's better if we don't do that. The amount of people who are going to believe I'm Master Mariam will be a lot. <laughs> Later on. <laughs> I love it! <laughs> Yo, you have a fucking <laughs> My apologies. Oh, <laughs> you'll, uh, you'll, uh, you'll uh, just smell it. It's That's neat, good. though. That's really funny. <laughs> Yeah, I, I agree. I think you can do some good things for our guild. Uh, so, yeah. uh, well, not officially. Welcome aboard, I guess. No, we're, st we're still going to be evaluating you throughout the tournament to see how good you are and stuff. <laughs> that is fair. None. I do not wish to be dead weight to your guild. <laughs> well, based on your fight. Actually, important question. Are you afraid of tigers? I do not fear anything. Like nothing. Oh. It, it is not really an emotion I'm very familiar with. Oh. Hmm. Oh, sure. The fear is both. <laughs> Sounds like a challenge. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. So you don't. <laughs> this feels like bra fear. Fucking <laughs> 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 <Yeah. laughs> <Jump> scare! <laughs> <laughs> His eyes somehow become even bigger and he sprints away down the street. <laughs> oh, that would cut so bad. Something that, could, that never felt fear gets it with a spear spell. Oh. Oh my oh god. Oh my god, you'll lose his mind. <laughs> Isn't this what fear is? I hate it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Silently and calmly gets up and just walks away at a brisk pace. <laughs> <laughs> oh. As you were. But yeah, yeah, I can't say Quinn wouldn't be for this. He has ties to the talents, which. Has my interest. He also has ties to ruins, which has my interest. He has a lot of things in this for me, so he did a good job at selling it. <laughs> uh, if they want to razz you, that's you gotta endear yourself to them. She likes strawberries. <laughs> I shall add to my notes. And she like likes breaking beds. She likes. <laughs> <stew>. <laughs> uh, Fenris has completely retracted back to like looking at the table grain and stuff. She is not oh. used to the new person in the room. <laughs> Ah, uh, Fanny, you gotta open up more. Especially here. Again, this is this is the one place where you can kind of relax in the city. Mm -hmm. I think Wing for food to get here. Like, look at them. I mean, aside <laughs> from him, he's terrified because I just gave them a lot of money. But... Did you take off your mask, Quogan? Not until the food gets here. Fair. <laughs> just check. The food gets here. Woo! All right. <laughs> Yay! All right. Beaming. I will so happily devour this. Oh. I'm num 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 num. I'm num 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 num. Delicious Wee. fresh bread. Num 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 looking, num num. <laughs> looking at Flux's reaction when I take off my my mask and hood. <laughs> there is not much of a reaction whatsoever. Perfect. Very much Wally staring at you. Just yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he then like takes a piece of bread very slowly, unhinges his jaw. <laughs> Like, it's like way too loud. This is what I'm watching. <laughs> <laughs> he just shoves the entire thing into his mouth, does not appear to chew. Wow. I'm for it. This is weird. Your autonomy mm -hmm. is strange. 
<laughs> really cool. Logan says this is weird as he drops bread into the fucking, uh, into the mask. <laughs> Shoveling it <Yeah>. in. <laughs> 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 well, welcome aboard, I guess. Not yet. We still have to evaluate them, you guys. <laughs> this is true. I, I would not wish to jump the gun, as it were. Hmm. <laughs> you also can't make a decision like that without Quinn, even though we all kind of know what We easy. already know. But still. Uh, <laughs> Quinn seems to make decisions before discussing. I adamantly, I adamantly refuse. <laughs> <laughs> Quinn, what are you doing here? <laughs> I will I leave I immediately. <laughs> I Don't need no I clank. Banished you. <laughs> Jesus. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. I guess we just we eat. Continue eating. Oh, <laughs> I guess we're just eating. I will. I will. Oh. To a soft extent, restricting the most. Uh, criminal aspects of our activities uh, explain our situation around Murkwire uh, to uh, mm -hmm. to Flux. Mm. I see. Specifically, his ties to the Talons of Azuru. So he wished to join this group. Interesting. Uh, I don't know about join. More like serve under. Yeah. Hmm. He he believed, whether correctly or not, that he would be given lordship over Summergrass while they take control of, I guess, the continent as a whole. I see. So whoever these Talons are must be quite powerful. Hmm. This is valuable information. Mm -hmm. It is good that I met you. You, oh, see, you yeah. seem strong. Me at one hit point. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, yeah! I'm, I'm very I'm, strong. I'm pretty tough. <laughs> You're really strong. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I can also make you stronger as well. My, uh, my huh? skills are not limited to small tricks. Um, for example, he'll, uh, you know, like pull the shield off of his back, kind of showing that, like, it looks more or less like an off the like just off the shelf shield, but it's got a bunch of uh, glowing runes curved into it and like a small gem in the center of it. Oh. I've modified this shield to uh, increase its durability and also repel invade, uh, repel attackers. You can join. Oh. <laughs> really? I believe we saw that during the tournament. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yes, anyone who strikes the shield will be blown back quite considerably. Oh. Hmm. we fun with that. That sounds fun. I don't know mm -hmm. if you guys overheard, but we have that juicy tip. Actually, I guess we should let you in on this as well, Flux. Real quick, group. Um, mm -hmm. Just so you know, just up, over all your conversations and traveling, I'll say you guys have taken a short rest. So if you guys wish Yay. to spend HD, feel free to. Oh, come I've on. I've got four hit points. Oh, like, I've got four wounds. Yeah, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Your fight could have ramped up into being really dangerous, but it ended yeah. so fast that it, it really rolled, did. <laughs> I rolled so bad on these. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna keep the rest of my hit base. Come on, fucking cool. I mean, he's what? I mean, I don't know if he could song a rest, Mary. Um, I intend to, although I can't target you guys right now. <laughs> no. You can't target them. No. Oh no, I can. I was hitting control and clicking, and it wasn't popping up. Weird. But, Weird. Ah, uh, see, <laughs> I can't target Quintus because he's not with me. Correct. It's true. You don't have to target me. <laughs> I'm no, do it, it get anyways. Him. Get him. Okay. Did you? Oh yeah, you, you used one, but you're at full. I see. Mm -hmm. By the way, just thank while we're doing you. Packing Aaron saw, but my Lyra magnet came in. I got a. I got, a, I got a magnet of the Lyra Ooh. design, which. Part of my brain is like, I want to stick it on the side of my computer, but it's a magnet, so I don't. Yeah, that'd be bad. Mm -hmm. Don't do yeah. that. I have, I have parts of my case where I know there's no, like, and there's nothing near it, but I just don't want to risk don't it. Don't do I, it. But I want to see it there, don't. but I'm not gonna, but I want to. Don't. <laughs> don't you do it. Put it on, like, the kitchen fridge, and then... Oh, I will. That's where there. I plan to throw yeah. it. My, my roommate has a... Uh, like a little Batman symbol magnet on the fridge that's also a bottle opener. Hell hey. yeah. <laughs> oh, 
Did you I just? I think I know that. No, I think wait, I got that in loot crate like or something. To. I think I know the exact thing. What did you? What? What? What did you just do? I tried dragging that onto Flux because it didn't heal him for some reason, even though I was targeting him. Oh, jeez. Oh, I, yeah, I tried to do it myself. It kind of errored out. So I yeah, it gave it me an error. Well, Flux, what's wrong with you? I don't know. <laughs> He's just a bag of glitches. Why? <laughs> Why is everything not work for master. you? <laughs> Let's see I if I know. try to do it. Let's see what happens. He the called error. Fantasy Grounds master. Manager stats, mmln.ua. Mn. I should manager. be at the correct amount of health though right now though. <laughs> what is it what is it not getting about your stats? What? It says the error is something to do with a, the stats manager, but I don't know what MNM is. I'm not kind of Warforge. I'll figure that out later, but hmm. MMs. MMs. What could be affecting that? Not enough MMs. Oh, I have that thing. I have that stupid thing. Oops. I left a thing on I didn't mean to. Uh, hey, everyone, you want to see something fun? Yes. Yay. Always. Uh, I don't know how well it'll work, and I actually didn't mean to have the extension on, but if you guys go into your character sheets, go to mm -hmm. the log tab. Oh, yeah, I saw that. Yeah, earlier. I saw these earlier. Yeah. Oh. They, uh, cool. I noticed it, it has trouble actually recording things, but. Uh, that's there. We'll see how well it works. It's recorded yeah. that Ooh. I've received two heals. I, that's all it knows. Five. Damn. Uh, might have been oh. from your HD. Yeah. Because I mean, those I would only have started recording as of this session. I have zero on everything. Any. Yeah, I've got zero Stay. on everything, too. Even though I used a hit die. Yeah. Oh, so. well, weird. I don't oh. know. Move on. Yep. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Cool. You're cool, got him. Uh, do we have, do we have anything else to talk about here? Or... Here? Uh, um, off the top of my head. Oh yes. Yeah. Uh, Flux. It's gonna be you're gonna have a, a teammate for your next fight. By the way. Oh, oh yeah. Interesting. That works out uh, quite a bit better for me actually. I am far better at support than frontline fighting. Hmm. You said we're pretty much alone, right? We have yes, a level no. of expected privacy here. We're not perfectly alone, but enough so that... I assume the Vogan could, for example, take down his mask but keep his hood up and be mm -hmm. relatively hidden. If you, like, okay. pulled out your ears and tail, I imagine there would be people that would notice. Okay, well, I wasn't going to do that, but I was just going to heck and be like... So, like, you guys were, like, everybody was fighting, like, I kind of noticed a bunch of stuff, and I, like, wanted to tell you, but I don't, I don't know if we should talk about it here in case anyone overhears. Like, what do you guys think? Should we wait until we can we wait until we, we get to the battle like The only okay. people that we care if they hear is going to be the, uh, other combatants anyways. Yeah, yeah I don't think that's average person going to do, unless they're going to sell it to the highest bidder, I doubt it. <laughs> yeah. I also noticed some things, but we can wait until we talk about, until we... You know, till we get home. That's fair. And also, like, okay. and so, so Quinn can find out about it, yeah. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. I hope he's having fun. Me too. <laughs> Do you think he's engaging in group coitus? Well, not group, because he's not. Uh, like he'd tell person. me. And that's Vogan's sleeping why do you keep pattern. Making him words? I don't know why you like it. You want this information. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> yes. Do that to him because he's gonna correct our fucking grammar. You get yeah. it. You fuck him get up. Get him. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you, is he? <laughs> that is not an acronym. For the, first, for the first time in the conversation, you see Fenris smile. <laughs> yes. Just looks over at <laughs> Heck and Vogan. <laughs> uh. I mean, uh. also, Flux, like, you might not be in the guild, like, just yet, but we can be your friends. Oh, that yeah. sounds lovely. <laughs> I would love to be your friends. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, we'll all be good friends. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I, I do have a question in terms of strategy. Um, if tomorrow I am paired up with someone who is not in your guild, should I throw the fight? Merquire, yes. <laughs> <Fuck>. <laughs> I'm being honest! 
Jake, I know, yeah, but it was just like I would, shit. <laughs> I would ask yourself, Flux, why did you enter the tournament to begin with? Mm. Mostly to find strong allies, which I seem to have found. Well, then I think that's entirely up to you. If you happen to enjoy your uh, your teammate tomorrow, then destroy whoever you're fighting, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I will take it under consideration. And if I am eliminated, that will free up my abilities to improve your gear instead of my own. Oh. Sure. I will note, because you would have known this, your mm. infused items do count as magic items in the tournament. Oh. Yeah, totally, yeah. Okay, so. just making sure you had that in mind. Yeah. yeah, they would have to have, like, a free slot. Mm. Luckily, I now have a free mm. slot. Um... <laughs> <laughs> But are his infusions as good as a haste potion? Yeah. Probably, Probably not, not, but I want them. <laughs> yeah. But that's expensive as fuck. Brands. I don't understand. <laughs> Let's see if that helps. Um, if you're looking for good allies, just take our personal experience. Merkwire is perhaps not good. It's a strong ally. Mm, good. Yeah. Yeah, that's no. a very not good. Term. Granted, good is also quite subjective with us. That's true. Mm -hmm. sure. If he is your enemy, then he is my enemy as well. Yeah, see, I think this guy's gonna then, be just fine. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> if given the opportunity, shall I destroy him? I no. Think, well, not, no, not you, you, you'll get into trouble do, if you're like, telling anybody. I could do anybody. worse for us than, than maybe not. Especially mm -hmm. if you wish to join, because there's a whole thing. There's about a whole that. bag of worms that mm -hmm. could be <laughs> opened. Understood. And two. Worms. Meanwhile, <laughs> oh, I can't wait to destroy yeah. Merkwire if I get I grouped with him. So <laughs> Taking care of him doesn't seem to do much. <laughs> so you've talked about group coitus twice now? <laughs> Now, feel free to not answer. <laughs> Can you, and if so, have you engaged in group coitus? I am looking at, my mind is blown that you're asking this question. Completely neutral. <laughs> at the same time, it's also Miriam, so the moment comes and goes rather quickly. Yeah. I do not believe I am personally capable of such an act. And he'll <laughs> tap on his crotch, and there's just a hollow ringing sound. <laughs> <laughs> Looks under table at crotch tapping. Oh! Oh, yeah! <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Whether or not I'm disappointed or just unsurprised. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure if given enough time and the proper schematics, I could fashion something. All right. Oh, oh my goodness. god. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's just telling the truth. Bread. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Marion, please try some jams the bread into his mouth to get him to shut up. <laughs> so good. Yeah. As of this happening, there is, as you guys can laugh about this, <laughs> this. Um, Fair. You, there is a strong gust of wind, and you hear a sound coming from behind you that you swear almost sounds like the faintest uh, sound of wind chimes, briefly. And you get the distinct impression that there is an individual behind you that you did not see approach. The rest of you, being able to see it, you would recognize standing about six, seven feet away from your group, uh, a certain blue-robed samurai. Mm. Maybe we should quickly pull hat. up my mask. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Heck in. Hmm. Hey. The boy. It's my boy. Hmm. Uh, turn around. Staring oh. towards the lot of you. Making no attempt <clears throat> to be hidden, but he also seemed to sneak up on you guys. Give him a hey. little finger. During away. your fight, oh. I recognize that you used the wind chain technique. Hmm. I saw some things about yourself as well. Where did you learn Jane. to use that? I think we both know who taught me. The way of blue metal is dead here. 
There are no practitioners, to my knowledge, in the entirety of this continent. None except for myself. So I have no idea who you might be referring to when you say we both know. Let's just say I didn't learn it here. I'm a newcomer around here. Hey, big fan. I saw your fight. It was cool. It was really good. His eye looks to you guys. His eyes look to you guys as you speak. But he doesn't seem to react. Uh, one of his spear He's carrying one of his spears openly. The other one seems to be secured to his back. After you guys say that, he puts his hand up and he tilts his straw hat down slightly so it covers both of his eyes. The way of blue metal should remain dead here. I wasn't planning on teaching anybody, if that's your concern. You knowing it is disgraceful itself. Stay away from this path. Everyone who walks the way of blue metal sees tragedy. I know. I've already experienced my fair share. Hmm. Almar seems fine. Hmm? Almar seems fine. Mm-hmm. You see his pupil <laughs> constrict. What did you just say? I said Almira is fine. I'm sinking under the table. I already was so uncomfortable before. Ah! Looking back and forth, eating bread. What do you know about Almira? I mean, I know basically nothing. She's my master. What? She taught me. Do you not know what a master is? <laughs> Flux knows. <laughs> Flux does know. <laughs> Someone who teaches you things and gives you orders. Thank you. Flux. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean by Elmira's your master? She saved me. And then taught me the way of blue metal. She's alive? Yeah. Thriving, as I can see. Where is she? Mm. What do you want to know? You should know why I want to know. If she taught you, then you should know about her. What should he know? Do you consider yourself to be an ally to Retia Vogan? I do. Then turn away from Elmira. Cast her aside. There is no one who has done more damage to this place than she. Elmira is a demon who lacks loyalty, who abandons others at her convenience, who threw Retia into the war that has plagued it for the last 700 years. And knowing she's alive, who abandoned her own country when they needed her. No sane, good person would follow Elmira. We have a proclivity for insanity in the highest standard. What did she I'm do? I'm getting the sense you don't know much about her. I know she saved my life. Out of the goodness of her heart. The goodness of her heart. She didn't have to. Especially for someone like me. 
Elmira Elmonda, the former leader of the Moon Elf tribes of Kohulis, is the woman who declared war on Retia and insisted that we def that we had defended our ancestral home, who turned away chances at peace, who unified the Palavar Fellowship, and then. Walked us into a massacre, abandoned her student, and apparently faked her own death to escape her responsibilities. Saving your life out of the goodness of her heart does not make up for that. Well, you seem to have a side to the story. I once believed she was capable of anything. And... I was heartbroken when it turned out that she was. He tilts his head down, turns from you, the group, rather abruptly. Discard the way of blue metal, Vogan! The path you're walking down is treacherous and will lead you to heartbreak and violence. Find your loyalty and place it somewhere else. He starts walking away. Why'd you even join this tournament? He stops. After being abandoned, I turned my back on both of our countries. I am only interested in becoming stronger now, and so I'm here. There's no other reason. I Can wonder. I him? Go ahead. Oh, Seems to be telling the truth. Oh. Yeah. There's no other purpose. I live to become stronger, to put myself above others. Strength is the only thing that defines who we are. You sound like that... Merkwire guy. Oh, the gladiator? Yeah. I don't know much about him. But... I do not mean in that strength is something that should lead others. Strength defines our personal worth. Our appraisal and ability to demonstrate it should speak for itself. Merkwire is strong, seemingly to impress others. Our kind should not require that. Strength for strength's sake. Exactly. I once believed in things like honor. But the person who made me believe in those things turned away from me, so I see no reason to value them. There are two sides of the same coin. Where is Elmira? Is she Who knows? <laughs> Roll deception. <laughs> uh, deception. There you are. Hi ya! Oh. Eleven. <laughs> <laughs> so then you won't turn her over. Stay silent. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> If she's hiding, if she's here, then I'm sure that if her current student were to be thoroughly broken in front of her, she'd make her presence known. Oh, I'm so looking forward to the tournament now, you guys. <laughs> oh, this is going to be great. <laughs> Good luck. You're going to need it. 
So him and Merkwar versus me and Vogan tomorrow. Let's go. There is no such thing as luck. She, he turns and he sees himself away. As he does, the faint sound of wind chimes of small ornaments decorating the ends of his weapons signifies him leaving. Um, eventually, he is out of sight. I think they still believe in honor. You don't get that mad and stay that mad that long if you don't have some shred of it left in you. Yeah. He was really intense. Indeed. Yeah. Yeah, yes. Are you okay? Mm. I'm fine. You sure? Yeah. And he looked hurt. Mm-hmm. I'll talk to Elmira. I want to get both sides of this story. That makes sense. Can I be there? I'm just saying. Yeah, well, I kind of want to know. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. I was pretty old, but. You know, starting the the war. He's gesturing around the electric district. That's <laughs> awesome. I mean, it's not awesome to do that. It's no. that I like impressive. Eh, it's great, whether or not it's good. It is great. Mm-hmm. Y- yeah. <laughs> if you wish us not to be there, I completely understand. Yeah, it's uh-huh. fine. Yeah. And I don't care. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna start heading back. Yeah, we gotta catch up. Yeah, with we, we should. We should go. Yeah. We should probably finishing up by now. Isn't the date's going well. Oh, I'm sure he's doing fantastic. <laughs> Out there having fun. Wait, mm-hmm. so it's an actual date now? Honestly, I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> if I'm being honest, I, you know, I, visually, yeah. Guys, we're married now. <laughs> oh. Congratulations, Master Quintus. <laughs> For appearances, you see. Lord Quintus oh, proposed yeah. in a very public way, and I had no choice. But... <laughs> <laughs> Diane, blink three times if you need help. <laughs> blink, 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 blink. being proposed to. <laughs> Guys, we're married now. Which means that one of the heads of the family is now directly connected to. Uh oh. Oh. I mean, here's the oh, thing. Yeah. It's fine if it benefits House Bal- House Balamil. <laughs> Oof. I'd say you guys could continue enjoying the festivities in the city. Um, knock off twenty gold, uh, Quinn. Just, just twenty. <laughs> just, I mean. He told him to spend one hundred. Like, bitch. If you want to spend all hundred, then you knock off a hundred. You would be the talk of the town. The festivities would be. <laughs> yes, I may. I wanted him to be extremely public and yeah, very. You are. Oh, oh here's are... the thing. I'll spend the hundred. I'm not spending the hundred on the date because she didn't want me to be the. <laughs> like go off casually. You show up. You're like, and money for everyone. We'll settle. <laughs> we'll settle up. We'll settle up the stuff that we talked about earlier. We'll settle that up. Oh, outside definitely. Game. But Never. um you guys would Diane would see herself back after being seen in public enough with you guys to establish, yeah, this is totally a date. Uh she would head back to um the Platinum District. Until and... our next date, Diane. <sighs> Certainly, Lord Quintus. If we can find time <laughs> and if you can take time out of your busy schedule, I would love to. <laughs> He'll give a slight, uh, a slight, like, you know, nodding bow to her and, mo- slight, and motion roll. Slight eye twitch returns <laughs> to when she came. <laughs> and I'd say that as the sun begins to go down, uh, as the sunset bathes the city in a beautiful orange glow, you guys would all meet up with each other. It's around 8.30 p.m. What would you guys... Uh, did you already mark off the 100 off of you, Mar- off of you Kitty? Yeah, I already marked it off. Okay, cool. Hey Quinn, hey uh, this is <laughs> you, you met before. Uh, this is Flex. Uh, oh, I'm back. At, we're back at the Dragon Dagger. Hello, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Hello again, Master Quintus. Ah, uh, thanks for those tips. Uh, the ones you didn't give me. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. I am confused. It was good to have a second opinion. Um, it didn't work out, but uh, why are you still here? I banished you. I'm kidding now. <laughs> 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 that is fair. 
I see all of you are acquainted. Yeah, hey, we got some food. Uh, we made we made a friend, uh, and we uh, we we had some general merriment while we waited for you. Uh, also, this guy knows about the talons. Mm -hmm. Oh, I do. Uh, they have colors. Should... Colors. <laughs> I didn't know that. Perhaps we should talk about this at a different place. If, if that is what you wish, certainly. Uh, where are you Fair staying? I'm not scared of things. Oh, I do not know. I was staying at an inn, but my friends seem to have left me. Mm. So You get I... robbed by a fox. That I is was... apparently what happened. Miriam, we saw foxes before running around the crowds, did we not? Hmm. Were, were they were they tiny? I mean, the one that have was one of them have like dark fur. Uh, Logan. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say you wouldn't have seen one with dark fur. Would not have seen one with no, dark fur. No, the regular fluffy orange kind. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Does that one I, saw, I saw one with dark fur. Well, if Clever you don't have one. anywhere to go, uh, are you af are you afraid of uh, spiders? Uh, spider marks appearing suddenly on on surfaces. I barely just get afraid of anything. <laughs> I cannot say that I am. Wonderful. The, You're you'll come like home with us. Skulls and there's like blood on them and they're skeety. It's interesting. Not Where do they come true. from? No. Uh, uh, we're we're uh, a, a, a family of drow hate me. It's it's whatever. We can go home and talk about it. I feel like their issues <laughs> were more with Raleigh. <laughs> well, Raleigh's not here anymore, and well, hopefully. They'll understand that eventually, but not fast enough to go after. Don't worry. About them. Just let's just go home. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Certainly. Are we going home? Home? Like fucking? We're going to like Dragon Egg or what are we doing? I was thinking we we're just gonna go home. Oh, it's just, it's just if an hour. Just an hour stay of town. in the city during the tournament or not? It's mm. an hour out of town. So it's an hour either way. It just means spending that time coming in and out of the city. We're gonna let the new boy know where we live. I'd like to know what he knows, and I didn't have a dinner date with him like all of you did. It was not a date. Yeah, yeah. he'll probably go over a lot of what uh, he told everyone else in transit. Yeah. You know, I want to check on on, uh, on, on Myra, anyways. And, point of mm -hmm. and we'll want to check it on Myra as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, home seems like a good idea. We okay. also don't want to, we also don't want to leave Mary Mist alone for too long. That's true. Oh no, she is she'll taking read care of Myra. <laughs> well, she has to take care of Myra. It's a lot of work. Yes, I mean I I enjoy her, but it's I don't think she will be exactly put out if we're gone for a few days. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. I agree with Miriam. I'm more just worried about her because of the aforementioned spider problem. Ah, uh, yeah, the drought. Mm. That's fair. Anyways, we'll fill you in on the way back. Appreciated. I, I thank you so much for your hospitality. On the way there, can they fill me in on what happened during the dinner? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Thanks, God. <laughs> no, they said yes, and I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> why are you asking me? I don't know why you need me to confirm that. They said yes, but there you go. Mm. Confirmed. It seems that your goals and ours align rather well, Mr. Flux. What the fuck is that? Whoa. What? What is, what is, what is going, going on? on? Oh my and god. Rolling what is going on? Rolling. Okay. Whoa. I figured out how to make it spin for super long. It was an eight. <laughs> Whatever it was. <laughs> what the fuck? It was is an eight. That? <laughs> eight? That's how many legs a spider has. <laughs> oh, Fucking a spider! He's a spy spider! A spider spy! <laughs> oh, jeez. It seems that your, uh, that your goals and ours align rather, rather a lot, Mr. Flux. It would seem so. Um, if, if your goal is to win the tournament, um, I can certainly try to be of help, help with that as well. He, I, uh, looked, he looks you over and just uh, kind of gives a uh, gives a bit of a nod. I saw your fight. You were rather impressive. Oh, thank you very much. I did my best. Master Durandal was quite formidable. 
I can't say that I've ever fought a bear before. It was quite instructive. I've only seen one guy fight a bear before. Looks at Logan. <laughs> yeah, we didn't really fight it. We, he, he, he fought it, and <laughs> it, it was terrifying. It. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps we can compare notes. <laughs> My notes wouldn't be very useful. I don't have the item that you did it, but anyway. But it would be, I think we'd be a fool to let this opportunity pass us by. If you know, if you know information, and we know information, we might as well keep that with ourselves. I'd rather you keep it just with us than find other people who could be working with Merkwire. Hmm. I see. Uh, yes, uh, I can. I can definitely do that. So do even if it is just for, so even if it is just for show for now. I believe that talking a journey in the morning about initiating you into the highest standard is something that we can talk to. Especially if so Lexi and the others still wish to evaluate you. I'd like to evaluate them some more, yes. We could at least do it in name. Gotcha. Mm. Look to Lexi. Is there any particular criteria you wish me to meet? I, will do I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> I see. So it is a secret. Uh huh. Answer. You have mm -hmm. to obey one thing, though. What is that? If you, are, if you are in the highest standard, he hits the table. Then, like I said earlier today to everyone else, you fight your hardest in the tournament, no matter what's in front of you. <laughs> Looks to the others, so I should not throw the fight then. No, you should, should not. Okay. Looks at Quintus, looks at Fluff. You should not. Hands and... If the fight was face. thrown, then that's something that potentially the people could get angry about. We don't I wish, see. we don't want them to be even more on edge with us. We wish to gain their favor. And if they blame you for Merkwire's defeat, then that'll be counterproductive. Even if I were to be his partner, I will try my best to win. And in more pleasant fights, if you were to fight me or any of the others, well, you saw me and Miriam today. Don't hold back. Yeah, they're like best friends. <laughs> I love him. I'm kidding. <laughs> I <am> Bob. <laughs> You're, it was quite an impressive fight. Certainly didn't look like you were holding anything back. Yeah, you, you Kitty! <laughs> <laughs> the armor? Re really? <laughs> that hurt a lot! The way you tried to burn him alive was, was quite spectacular. It wasn't very entertaining, though, so we moved I'm not on. a boar, Kitty! Ah, oh. you can take it, Quinn. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, really? A potion of speed against me, Quinn? <laughs> coming at her from that angle. You know what those things cost? Of course you do. You bought one. I, I found oh. that. I, I found that one. Actually, oh. <laughs> they cost around two to five thousand gold pieces. They what? Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> He's just like they what? That I is. thought I would pick up like two more. Depending on where you're going, oh. even more. Well, is this is just the worst. Money. Those are absurdly powerful potions. I wouldn't have oh. used it on them. I'm kidding. <laughs> well, that just proves how formidable you were, Kitty. Oh, I, I appreciate it. We, uh, we put on quite the show, and I'm happy we did at least that. I'm I didn't want to trust this thing end. to protect me against that lightning. <laughs> I'm just arching my eyebrow at this whole freaking conversation, just looking back and forth, <clears throat> smiling so widely. I'm just, I'm just ha like, like once we get into talk to the of the fight and seeing that Kitty isn't like is is, pl is joking around like like Quintus is finally like you know smiling ever since the whole Merkwire reveal. <laughs> he's just like <laughs> <laughs> he's very happy to be to be with Kitty and Kitty isn't being mad at him. <laughs> oh, on the topic of keeping secrets, there is another thing that I should probably mention for for the good of the group. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. After my master was killed, it seemed like someone was going around and trying to keep the whole thing under wraps and make it seem as though it were nothing more than a suicide. But, um, 
I, I, I didn't see the man myself, but um, he was apparently quite thin with dark hair and uh, cat-like irises. He, he seemed to scare the other scientists and archaeologists quite a bit. If you see someone like that, please do not do not tell him what we're up to. He he, he may try to attack you. Cat-like irises. You're gonna take me alive! <laughs> <laughs> Just like looking at Kitty. Mm. Uh, you son of a bitch. It's not like that runs in my family, so someone else with a, a condition, I suppose. I believe he looked. Actually, did he look more human? Yeah, he would have looked yeah. relatively human. Gotcha, human ish at least. Yeah. We'll keep an eye out. Yes, kind of thin, feminine man, pitch black hair, and cat like irises. Mm. If it wasn't mm. for the irises, I would think it, I would think of a of somebody, but I, I apparently. Yep. <laughs> Same. <laughs> 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 Are you saying that out loud? No, no, I'm playing. Okay. <laughs> I'm not going to implement Aristo while he's not here. <laughs> You're right, got him. <laughs> Next journey, find Aristo. <laughs> Again. <laughs> um, God damn it. Oh, no, <laughs> Is he even killed? Is he fucking... <laughs> You're right, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> he watered down her life. <laughs> How could he? You guys head back out and you return home. It's about, it's coming up on 10 by the time you get back. Uh, I would say that when you return, Jerky is laying in Jerky's usual spot between the stables and the uh, house. You hear kitty snores coming from him. Um, nobody rushes out to greet you as you return. Uh, as you guys have seen, the, uh, saw the last time that you came back, uh, Almira is present. She appears to be up on the roof again, legs folded, looking out at the sky. It's mm. dark enough now that the stars are out, and she seems to be stargazing. Everything Wait, go well I... today? Uh, she looks down towards the group of you, a very calm look about her. I managed to find... Uh, a possible lead. Hmm? Oh. She shakes her head lightly as if to say it's not a huge concern. Hmm. My father's hmm. grave. I may know where to find it. She says where? very quietly, with you guys able to hear her despite 20 feet of distance, despite her being super uh -huh. soft-spoken because D&D. Mm. &D. Um, I look over to Vogan as if to be like, should we warn her? Mm -hmm. The location... <clears throat> I couldn't give you directions if that's... <sighs> it's kind of in the middle of nowhere. Hmm. Weird. It's what I... She seems... Like, she doesn't want to talk about it a lot, but every time she stops speaking, she looks towards Vogan. I would say, without even requiring anything, the rest of you would definitely get the feeling that she doesn't think this is a group topic. Well, I'm going, going inside. Go Fine. <laughs> yeah. I'm going inside. I was hoping to fail. Following <laughs> Fenris. <laughs> I just like well, uh, not not get it not uh, not like you know wanting to miss out on that and just like look to him just like you know he'll 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 hopefully warn her just like gives him a nod and goes in. Hmm. Come flux, let me show you to the empty room. <laughs> uh, thank you very much. He'll, he'll I do not you. show him to. I do not show him to Aristo's room. I show him to the mm -hmm. third room, the one between uh <laughs> between Lyra and Kitty. <laughs> Damn right. Cool. Now that's a floor to be on. <laughs> Welcome to the party floor of the Hecken. Woo woo! By a standard. I will head up to Almira. <laughs> I, I, I don't even go up like the stairs through the building. I'm just like parkour Jump. up. <laughs> oh, wait, is that Mary in this room? Hell yeah. You'd have to parkour up. There's no way to get on the roof uh, unless you. Likely, yes. Amazing. 
Is, is oh, that Mary Mist? Oh, I thought there was like a window you could. Okay, yeah, I do that. Yeah, Mary Mist is on my floor. Oh, so I guess we have to. No, well, I'll, you know what? Fuck it. I'll tell Mary Mist to move into Aristo's room. It's closer to the library. Damn. <laughs> Mary Mist, get out! Cold. <laughs> So Logan, could you reach for the house maps? Because I lost all my bookmarks. Sorry. Yeah, same. Do you oh. duck? All right, if you, you need it for something. Um. I just like having Logan, it. Logan, would Mary mm -hmm. Mist like to move to the room closer to the library? Uh, sure. Like I just, I, I, I wanted to ask her if she would like to. <laughs> sure. If she would, then we'll move her out up to the bigger room next to the library. If she doesn't, then we'll uh, we'll put uh, Flux there. For what it's worth, you'll say, like, there's there's no need to shuffle rooms on my account. Uh, I could stay in a closet if you have one. <laughs> oh, you, you need a room. <laughs> I mean, we have oh, that one God. hall that doesn't lead to anything. Wow. <laughs> Just put him in the fucking basement. <laughs> like... No, no, no. The hall that, like, is going away from no, the door know, to the basement that leads nowhere. <laughs> this is... You guys, um... I'm not going to share all three maps right now. We're not doing anything yeah. with them. Um, you guys sure. know where things are. It... But, uh... Maps. You, you, you climb up to, uh... You heckin' climb up to see Elmira. You guys figure out room situations. None of the NPCs in the house will have any issue with being moved around. Okay. Cool. Oh, no. <laughs> I do not actually need to sleep, so I don't even require a bed. I have to have a place to tinker. That would be good. I could be more. I could be a lot more helpful with uh, a place to work. Ah! If you if you'd like a place to tinker without worry, we can show you to the dungeon. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. I would like to see this dungeon very much. I will take him to the dungeon. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> that will be his room now. <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so many convenient hooks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hanging gadgets and things from hooks. <laughs> well, <laughs> anyway, we'll be quiet for the Elmira stuff now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I make my way up to up to Elmira. So what? Uh, what did you learn? What lead did you get? Most of what I've been doing has been wandering around, and I jogged my memory regarding where my father's grave might have been. But mm -hmm. I'm not certain that I'm not certain that I want to go there right now. Why not? The last time I saw my father was a very long time ago. Things were much different. He spent most of his life, most of it in the world that was more unified. When I thought about finally reaching his grave and properly saying goodbye to him, it occurred to me how much things have changed and how much I've changed. And I suppose I find myself wondering if my father would even recognize me. I, um... I talked to, uh... Keen... today. You think you've yeah. confirmed that it was definitely him, then? Yeah. It hmm. definitely was him. He does not have a high opinion of you. No? Well... I imagine he's probably outgrown... The, what I taught him. He says he... He had... He threw around some... Huge accusations... About you. Like how... Like, what exactly did he say? He, like, that she, like, split apart the fucking country or something? Uh, that she instigated the industrial war. That... Yeah. Yeah. He said that you instigated this massive war here. I 
Yes. That's not, that's not a lie, I'm afraid. Why'd you, why'd you do it? What happened? I'm going to use the term young subjectively here because you may not agree that when I was in my early hundreds I was young but my father died here whenever the continents when the empire dissolved and things split apart he remained here and tried to make peace and I was very young at the time there were some riots, unrelated to what would eventually become the Industrial War, and in the Retian Empire, well, the Retian Kingdom at the time, in their attempt to retake this land, he ended up being killed. I was back in Kuhulis at the time. I took his place on the Palavar Fellowship which put me in a position of great power. Several hundred years later, after a great deal of tension rose between me, Kahulis, and Retia, there were talks by High King Kurrigan, the ruler of Retia at the time, about combining the Empire again. I was filled with rage and hatred for humankind, for having taken my father from me, and I used my position to sabotage peace talks. I gave a lot of very impassioned speeches about why we could never submit to the steel fist of Retia, and inevitably, my efforts led to the war. I was very outspoken about it. I became a figurehead of the Palavar Fellowship for a long time. And it would not be incorrect to say at one point you could have seen me as the ruler of Kahulis itself. Later. Then one of the later High Kings, Ultran, suggested peace and wanted to speak with us, and my anger had subsided somewhat by that point. I agreed to meet with him, and you've already heard about what happened there, a great massacre. That's when the Centennial Tyrant issues happened. The army you came from was put together, they ambushed us, and... I suppose after hundreds of years of conflict with Retia, during that massacre where most of the Palavar Fellowship was killed, I realized that my actions had led to a great deal of bloodshed, a hatred without a base. And when I almost died during that conflict, I chose to remove myself and I fled from my responsibilities. I allowed my people to think I was dead, and I hid for a very long time. I thought perhaps if I removed myself, perhaps things might go back to normal, or someone else might take up my mantle. I secretly met with a High Queen of a later generation, and from behind the scenes was talking to her about establishing peace to try to make some good of everything that had happened. And then when she petitioned the people of Retia, an assassin from Kahulis struck her down in public, citing it as revenge for my murder. And my name became the final nail in the coffin that prevented peace between the two continents. I have been a blight to this entire world, 
Which is why after that, I decided to dedicate the rest of my life to fixing things. And why I'm searching for the Constelliquaries on the off chance that perhaps whatever divine power they may have might be able to fix things or undo the mistakes that I've made. Hmm. That's a... That's a lot. I've lived a lot of lifetimes. <laughs> Why didn't she feel you. comfortable talking about this in front of us? Come on. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> I've lived a lot of lifetimes compared to you. I've had a lot of times to make mistakes and been given a lot more chances than most people. Mm -hmm. As long as you're trying to fix it now. I think that's fine. I want to leave this world a much better place than when I came into it, or what I made it. And I'm getting rather old. Again, using the term old subjectively here. I may not look it, but I'm not that far off from the end of my own life, I think. I want to have left some good behind. A small amount to try to counteract everything that I've done that has plagued this entire world. The only place I haven't done any bad is the Strike Lens, and that's because it would be very, very difficult to do anything worse there than what has already happened. Although I suppose you could say I'm responsible for the Hellrock army existing, so... Wow. Oh, boy. <laughs> she, like... <laughs> <laughs> looks up. She like gets this like look in her eyes. Like I hadn't actually considered that angle before. <laughs> yeah, I basically ruined the world for everyone. I'm not the only player in these events. Obviously, there was a lot of moving parts. But if I had not petitioned my people to go so hard into defending themselves, and perhaps if I wasn't involved, things may have returned to being a proper empire. And things may have been more peaceful. Mm. <sighs> yeah, maybe. But it's no use thinking about it now. That's in the past. What matters is, you know, what you're doing now. Hmm. <laughs> and. From what it sounds like, you're doing a lot now to try and fix your past mistakes. Like I am. <laughs> I think that you're much braver than I am. You weren't given the same chances that I was. I made the active decision to go down a dark path, but it's all that you knew through your entire life. You are far stronger than I am for having turned away from it. If you ask me, it also took a lot of strength to save someone who, you know, looks like me for no real reason. And please try not to judge Keen too hard from his perspective. I I passed everything that I thought was right on to him, including what I thought of humankind and Retia. And then once I decided that I no longer wanted to follow those ideals, I disappeared. And I left a broken world and no master for him. He has every right to feel the way that he does. But yeah. if he's gone down a dark path, Show him that it's not, that the teachings are not what resulted in it. The way of blue metal that my father left behind is not, it's me, not, not the way. Yeah. When I was talking to him, he seemed hurt. 
seemed broken, like me, before I met you. I'll, I'll do my best to help him where I can. You don't seem like a bad person. Just hurt. Hmm. Well, got a big day tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Are you going to be watching the tournament? I might find my way in. If well, I show up in the city, I, I'm not sure what kind of a reception I get, but I might be able to slip in. Well, make sure to bet on me if you have any money to bet. <laughs> you get your rest. Have a good night. She nods, no. goes back to stargazing. Yep. Get back down and... Go to get his pet. Bing. All right. Does anyone else have anything that they want to do tonight? Pretty much just discuss what we saw in our fights, right? Or like right, what we it. observed. That's about it. That's all I want to do. And rest, obviously. Mm -hmm. Do we want to? Do we want to share fight information? All the information yeah. that I have. Um, I have so much information. On, I'm I have info on Merkwire. You guys need this information, guys. So important. I, I have I have info on Merkwire. So if you anyone wants that, that. <laughs> I would I love have... any and all information on everyone. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm not gonna share the information I have because I don't have it with me right now. No. No. Bread! <laughs> Why you gotta put it on your I notes page? I kept of my information, Fred. Put it in your notes, oh, fucking thing. It's fine, it's. Fine. It's not, cause now we don't have the information that you I'm got. Sorry. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Oh. I literally, if it was important, I would have remembered it. The most of it I was like. I swear to God, if I'm fighting someone, literally, that you, you want to know what I? And you you want to know what I, I found out for Lyra? I found uh, out for Lyra, she's holding back her sorcery spells. Yeah. That's crazy. Really? <laughs> Thanks no. for the information. Cool. I would have like, never guessed. Cool. It was like, mm -hmm. Flint is wait waiting till the end of the combat to shape. Ship sh shift shape. Wild shape. Ship shift. Ship <laughs> shape. <laughs> I love I am you. so not feeling well. I'll fight you all. <laughs> oh, Brad. It's okay, it's okay. Uh, Alright, everyone. That, like... Don't wear armor. Kitty will use it against you. <laughs> it's fair. Kitty's it's fair. not in the tournament. It's true. Yeah, I'm I'm out I'm out of I'm out of information. I don't have anything else. <laughs> uh... Oh, he can call lightning from the sky. Damn. He's not in the Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I can also call lightning from the sky. Massive clouds! I'll be right back real quick, guys. One second. Yeah. He's gone. I'm gonna go P two. People Fuck didn't seem to like it. <laughs> oh no. People didn't seem to like the big cloud, but I loved it, Kitty. <laughs> it was a very cool cloud. Tanti doesn't I have know. any ranged options. Uh -huh. If you can get out Who? of her reach, she can't really do anything to you. Tanti. Ah, Who? of course. Oh, Tanti. Yeah. Yes. I'll use all my ranged options. Same. Oh, that, that is... You have way more than me. I can hit her from thirty feet away. That is all, that more is than me. Though. You got that the is... sphere. Oh, oh, it's true. You oh, have that's the sphere. True. I'm back. I do have the sphere. Yeah, and no, I mean, cool. taunted Carrie doesn't wins have the counter spell. Okay. Uh, that we know of. I learned about Merkwire that his new weapon isn't dealing psychic damage like his old one. Yay. Good, but, uh, but the wounds it's leaving seem to be leaving more, leaving lasting ongoing damage. Oh, shit. Uh, and the bleeding doesn't, uh, bleeding cause doesn't slow. Mm. And also, yeah. uh, and perhaps due to his physical state, 
he has switched his plate mail for breastplate. Uh, he's not using a shield, so his overall armor class <laughs> is probably low. His AC is lower. So I learned a thing about Keen, but I'll keep that to myself. How dare you? What if <laughs> I can find him? If you, <laughs> I mostly want to keep it just in case he he's on my side for the turn. <laughs> oh, <work. laughs> And I'm facing one of you. Uh, <laughs> you son of a bitch. I think I, I think I got a similar thing about Murkwire. Uh, he isn't dealing psychic damage with his Messite sword granted him before. Uh, he appears to be charged with powerful electrical energy. Uh, oh. Doesn't seem to be coming from his weapon alone, but is increasing his damage output nonetheless. Oh. Shit, I was peeing okay. what I missed. <laughs> uh, some stuff about Murkwire. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Crap! <laughs> <laughs> no, no, tell her. Oh. I also got a, a tip about Keen Von Haku. Oh, uh, what would that be? <laughs> no, <laughs> he is hiding a potion in part of his belt. Oh, oh. that's no good. <laughs> mm -hmm. he didn't seem I like that. During his last fight, though, I will oh. stab him in the belt. Cool. Other than that, he appears to oh. he doesn't appear to have any other magical items on him. Did, <laughs> did anyone get anything about the psychic sword lady? Mm -hmm. what, was, uh -uh. what was their name? Nope. Uh, Shit. Um, sword lady. Was that Osman? No. I have her. I have her listed down as cloaked girl. <laughs> she. I didn't get her name. Her name was Una. Una. Oh, Una. Oh. I How do you spell that? I did. U N A. You and I. Okay. Yeah. I got what about, what about Osmond? Wait, I got fucking Una. Osmond. Uh, one on a tag. He just said Osmond, man. Una. Sorry, Una seemed her, to deflect it with yeah, her Osmond. mind. <laughs> okay. Mm. I think people may have been talking over you through that, Gary. I think so, too. It's all good. Uh, Hagen, Una seems to deflect attacks with her mind. And attacks fuck? against her seem to have disadvantage. Ah, oh, shit. Why? Ugh. Yeah. <clears throat> she's one of those people. Maybe you can't look at her. Ooh, maybe. I hope it's not like. The I mean, to be that. fair. Because you know, the eyes are the do? windows of the mind. <laughs> Ow. I mean, if we don't look at her, we're still going to have disadvantage on her attacks. Yeah. Like, shit. Yeah. Let me see what I got. What do I got? Uh, da, 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 da. Got some so just make her roll scandal. some saves. Ooh, <laughs> scandalous. Saves yeah, it seemed yeah. that uh, her offensive magic was mostly based around lightning and thunder. I'm Why? very happy. This this tournament is making me happy so far yeah, with all the information I'm, we're getting. I'm pretty mm -hmm. sure even for her, the one I got was like, she's hiding her identity. <laughs> oh, <laughs> A lot Brad. of them are like, oh. yeah, I figure. <laughs> I remember oh. the one you got, but I'm not oh, going to tell you. Oh, that's fine. Oh, <laughs> shit. Don't lose your shit. It's fine. He's right. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, you guys, 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 guys. tab. Damn. I will. Don't, don't use spells against Kitty. He's not in the he tournament. Took it, he <laughs> took it down like that. He has been eliminated already. <laughs> I... oh, right, right. <laughs> Oh my god. I am. Uh, so Jasper's armor is a Constella quest. <laughs> I have a few uh, bits about uh, the lady. Oh, so yeah? What you got? Yeah. Uh, they were lady. actually rather interesting. Uh, she seems to be able to attack three times using her attack action. Oh. And uh, her, uh, what's it, Al Alas piece? Alas piece. Uh, uh, also seems to be crafted uh, with skill you haven't seen before. Oh. And uh, at one point, uh, she let's see, what's an elf? Oh, wait, it's, uh, type, it's the type oh, yeah. of spear she has. Oh, gotcha. oh, I see. And at one point, uh, Osmond did a critical strike against a lady, but she seemed to be almost entirely unaffected. Oh yay! Adamantium right. armor. Woo! <laughs> Glad to know that two people are unaffected by the crits. <laughs> I'm, I'm, uh, I'm not completely like like invincible. To crits. I'm happy. <laughs> hey, Vogan. Yeah. The masked woman has an expanded thresh, uh, threshold. Oh, does she? Yes. 
Kitty, don't tell them about mine. Does that mean like a Does she? Fucking... Yeah. It's one of the ones I got. Oh. She's uh, a heightened crit range. <coughs> oh. <laughs> it's just like, hold on. No, I, I, I just want to check a thing to make sure that you mark that down for the right person. Because I'm like, what the heck and did she? <laughs> Who are we talking about? Uh, Una. Are you... Una? Okay. I think sure so. You're not a math referring... Are you refer... sure you're not referring to Gunwitch? Maybe? Because, uh, I'll tell I, you... I have a note about Gunwitch. I can crit on, like, 18s, 19s, and 20s. I'm gonna I'm check oh. my heck in... Ah! I know! I'm gonna check my notes here just to make sure... You had a thing, I... Carrie? Because we wouldn't have yeah. got the same one. And uh, I, I never got a number. I only got... They seem to crit more often. Mm. <laughs> I know that her, her crits also deal an extra weapon die of damage. Which one was Gunwitch again? That's the half orc? Gunwitch yeah. is scary, yeah. I don't want to fight any of these people. Fucking right! <laughs> I oh want to fight God. all of these people. I mean, <laughs> I, as Fenris, I want to fight all these people. As Bread, See. I would rather not. I would mm -hmm. like to team up with Gunwitch and we both crit people all the like, time. Like, holy yeah. fuck, right? I'd like to give Crit them squad. a kiss, <laughs> a little smooch. But... Where are you? Where are you, Una? <laughs> we need a team named Gunwitch. I like to. I, I think we should call ourselves Critical Damage. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> yeah. Nope. Um. Oh. You're right. Correct. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, fuck. The exact details about every <clears throat> you know, uh, one of them slipped my mind. I was like, I'm pretty sure Gunwitch has the increased crit range, but. I guess it's all. Maybe they're like not the same increased crit range because like fucking eighteen. Uh. Who knows? Yo, right? God damn. Big that was like the first one that I got, and I was like, "Fuck." Logan, this isn't fair. Can I have eighteen crit range? I'm kidding. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right. As soon as you become an NPC, <laughs> I, I hand Quintus <laughs> over <I'm> <laughs> for the tournament only. <laughs> oh boy. He now crits on a 16. <laughs> Jesus! So, it was Gunwitch that had the expanded Gunwitch crit range. And, and Una. Oh, that's right. And Una. But, okay. but Gunwitch's okay. is a wider range. Yeah. yeah. I see. Okay. Okay. 18s, 18s, 19s, She also gets an extra weapon die of damage. And she's a half orc. Yeah. She's a half orc. <laughs> and she's a half So, you know, superior freaking savage critical. Ugh. <laughs> I'm gonna no die. <laughs> yeah. yeah, man. She can probably uh, one shot any of us with a crit. Oh, yeah. Wait, well, it's probably not me. <laughs> well, if she probably gets high enough, I don't know, man. Vaccine. Savage crit. Mm -hmm. highest, savage crits are quite highest savage. Hit, highest hit points and also can reduce critical damage on Vogan. Vogan be fine. Oh, that's true. That's true. Uh, the yeah, I'll probably be fine. Is, is definitely. Yeah. I... yeah. Do not Resisting need to crit damage. I would like. I, I would I like, like to. I would like to take his uh, his armor off of him before our fight, please. <laughs> it's not armor. <laughs> I would like to take his fucking what, my hide? my Drake hide. Yeah. <laughs> his shawl. I would so like to pee. I would like to pee on his Drake hide and have him understand <laughs> oh that it, that it that it is not, that it wanna, belongs wanna to me wash now. Wash the idolin off of it with my pee. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Well, you know, if I pee on it, then he knows it's my property. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I see. Yes. <laughs> oh, sure. <laughs> All right. Do it. Does anyone have any of uh any other information? Ah, uh, Merkwire is in the tournament. Oh, nice. cool. Thanks. Uh, heckin, what do I have? No. Uh, don't let Kitty about... know. He's dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> I get think about Scarlet. Uh, heckin, during her fight, she had a stone shaped like a cat's head that she was tossing in the air a whole bunch, and it seems to be a luck stone. Ah, I was thinking it was a luck stone. Logan loves luck stones. Yep, <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Dude, uh, Logan just like took all the items that Lady had from Tomb and just spread them out. <laughs> <laughs> what else do I got? Mm. Uh, heckin Keen. Uh, at one point, uses the action surge feature as well as the spell booming blade. Uh -oh. uh, wait, who does? Wait, who? Uh, Keen. Fucker has booming blade. <laughs> oh, that yeah. damn high elf. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, he's like the combination. Stupid of free cantrip. Lexi. Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> he's like Lexi and Vogan fused. 
Unless I get boobing blade, then I won't complain. Then <laughs> <laughs> it's just fair. I got so much, y'all. Oh, fucking... He goes, moving uh, blade, fuck him! Goes up to the library, pulls out books. I need a Logan, book! Can... I need to learn moving blade! Yeah! Logan, can I have my, can I have my potion of speed back? I take a wizard back? level just for that. Can I... Logan, can I have my potion of speed back? I, th I think I need to... I think I need it. I would I would love it, please. <laughs> then I want my potion of healing. You know what? Fine, give we it to her. Give, give me mine. <laughs> Get out of here. I'm fine with you giving her her kind of potion of healing or whatever. I need mine, though. <laughs> Get out of here. Alright, I'll, I'll send out the forms. Alright, thanks, man. Nice. So I noticed that Tantia... <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, Did you know that Tantia punches with... people? Yo, right? She didn't come with a yes. lot of magic, like in any kind of magic items, but at one oh. point she violently stomps the ground and Th Thungara, what the hell you her name? Seem to lose Thungara. her balance. That's the oh. one, yeah. Oh, shit. shit. I don't like Fancy. that. Mm. I don't like, uh... <clears throat> I don't like any of this. I don't like any of this. How come one of the information you guys got was like, their weaknesses? Come on, guys. <laughs> no, right, but... Like, I don't know, this guy doesn't like it when you pee on Vogan. <laughs> 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 that guy was Vogan. Vogan is like it when you pee on Vogan. <laughs> it's not a secret. It's Vogan. <laughs> <laughs> or this person is weak to someone saying I rise with the sun. That'd be cool. Mm -hmm. oh Maybe they're a moon person. <laughs> Maybe they're a moon person. Listen, you can say wait, shadow fed. Wait, I have the no, perfect... <laughs> I know what they're weak to. Moon. Damn! <laughs> what a waste of a 20! <laughs> How dare you? I know your weakness. It's moon! Points up Cloud's part. Moon fires a beam of energy. <laughs> oh. uh, I followed the wrong god. <laughs> You should have. You're right. Mistake. I am Heros, your god. Are you gonna fire? Harrows, are you gonna and fire? Now you like owe anything? me money. God damn. Uh, so okay. Lyra. Oh. <laughs> so much shit. She's mastered a defensive technique for shooting potions out of the hands of those who use them. Oh. I don't don't use potions her. around. Uh, Yo, right? Like, <laughs> fuck. Lyra's holding back on her. I would like Lyra to teach me a hand technique. Mm. Why are you being gross today? Well, no, because then I could then I could knock people. I don't then I could knock the, then I could knock the potions out of people's hands. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Anything else, Lexi? I'm gonna go. Be um, naked. I'm fucking. I'm looking <laughs> <Can> <laughs> like. What do I got? Uh, the lady. Uh, though she was using magic, her list of spells seems very limited, almost exclusively favoring the spell Chromatic Orb. Oh. Um, yeah. Mm. And I don't know if this is a general note or if it's one that fucking Logan gave me. At one point, Osman does strike a critical blow against the lady, but she seems to be almost entirely unaffected. Yeah. Yeah, yeah got that, that one. Crits. Got that one, too. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh... Cool, 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 cool. I think the lady cool, was cool, one of those, cool, cool, some, cool. like, everybody rolled well, but someone rolled a crit, so I had to give out a couple of them to, like, different people. Yeah, I got okay. two of them. I, I just yeah. love the fact it's like, we go to lady, and it's just like, all right, here we go. I got her weakness. She's incredibly strong and powerful. No, right, shit. She's a that's royal cool. knight from the capital, and that's how I'm going to take her down. <laughs> <laughs> uh, last thing, I just have a little thing on Flint that he doesn't seem to have any magical items. He's just relying uh, on his own own things. Cool. It's just like lady gets in the thing, you just look at her. Hey, bu bureaucracy! Yeah. <laughs> she shatters like glass. <laughs> <laughs> then I get arrested for using power word kill. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> well, heck. <laughs> That's uh, all I got, y'all. <laughs> is that everything? It's everything. Yeah. Seems like it. I think we should all have a good rest then. Mm-hmm. We don't know what's going to happen tomorrow, other than, well, we're going to be wor hopefully working with someone. At the same mm -hmm. time, that adds another opponent. And all of them seem very 
powerful. Yeah, this information is great to have, but... Now let's remember that we also have to go and hunt necromancers tomorrow, so... You're crackling. Right? You're crackling. Ah, try not to use up all, Try not to use up all of your resources, but... There are necromancers? Oh yeah, we're gonna go. We're gonna fight necromancers. Um, oh yeah, 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 yeah. I would love to help if you will have me. Neat. <laughs> cool. <God> damn. <laughs> you're not on. You're not. You're a con. You're, you're a warforge. You have nothing to do with undead, right? As far as I am aware, there okay, are many things I... that are still unclear about warforged. But based on our design, it seems unlikely. Okay, cool. X-rayed into into him. He's just a skeleton archer. <laughs> <laughs> then you'll be fine. Excellent. All right. Thank you again for having me. For a here. trial basis, obviously. Mm -hmm. Of course. Mm -hmm. I will do we'll, my best to earn a place here. We'll have to go early and talk to Journey about getting that official. Yeah. Everyone. Do that. I gotta find that sword guy who owes me money. Oh <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Everyone, take up take up watch. We leave at first light, and by first light I mean first light for all of you because it's gonna be like three hours after I'd like to leave. Whatever. He walks away. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll take the first two watches again. I will take the last watch because I will wake up earlier than everybody except for our Warforged friend probably. Uh, flux. <laughs> I'm about to throw experience out to the party because we're about to wrap up, everybody. If you guys are taking your no! rest, then we're going to... I want to know who I'm fighting, you bitch! Whatever. What? I want to know who we're fighting! Do you think we are going to get to that today? I no, just, just want to know! know. I don't want to fight, I just want to know. We'll know tomorrow. We'll, we'll I, know. Know. I know. I know you want to like... know. Nah. Come on, uh, now. So, because you came in near the end of a level... Uh, Flux, I'm going to give you as much experience as the lowest party member, so you're caught up with the lower bracket, if that's cool. Yeah, you that's cool. Up, there's, not a, that. there's not a huge yeah. gap between anyone. The lowest, the lowest is, party member, Aristo. The lowest yeah. is... Uh, <laughs> the lowest probably. is 20,445. Um, the highest is, like, a little bit over a thousand more than that, but most of you are gravitating around, like, that range. Right. Uh, Hacken, all right, you guys didn't, uh, we're gonna stop there. You guys all turn in for the night, uh, and go about your various things. You've learned a bit more about Almira and some of your opponents today. You've learned a lot more about Almira. Basically, you've learned mm -hmm. Almira's Damn. whole deal. Uh, yeah. she's, <laughs> she's singularly responsible for the war that's been going on for about 400 years. Uh, what? Yeah. No. Well, that's a lot. She's not singular. Not single handedly. But she, 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 was, she was. She was a, a pretty big part advocate. of it. <laughs> yeah. Nah. She could ar arguably. She was one of the main inciting incidents. That if she had not been there, it may have <laughs> resolved. Not. It may have resolved. Full stop. Full stop on that sentence. Damn. Yeah. No. Um, I'm gonna give session experience today. Glad uh, I don't know that. To the tune of a hundred times our session number, so I'm gonna give 3,300 split among the party. <laughs> nah, damn, damn it! <sighs> give me no, more! <laughs> nobody leveled? <laughs> I guarantee you tomorrow, as long as you guys don't talk a whole bunch, tomorrow we're gonna get through round two of the tournament. Well, oh. Oh. I don't know about three. And I'll... But... Damn it! Ah! <laughs> give me 800 more! <laughs> <laughs> Same! <laughs> I'll kill you! You guys need 800? What the fuck? <laughs> I need 800 more. <laughs> how much do I need? Oh, well, I, I need 779 more. I don't more. even remember how to check. I need like 2,005. <laughs> I think yeah. my brain is melting. That's okay. That. Kara, are we on, Kara, are we on the same or are we that tomorrow, not? I, not tomorrow. I, I th tomorrow I we get. I, I, no. I, I got 1,300 left. I didn't collapse One in the sec. middle of game. Me. Go me. <clears throat> oh yeah. I believed in you. You did believe in me, and that's that's very yeah. touching. Yeah. It went from you dying to me dying. It's true. Remember, 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 remember that whenever you yeah. think back on you the whole will IV situation. Wise. Like when you think on the whole will situation, and you want to cross out Bread's name and put in mine. Oh, and no. play credits. Bread didn't believe in you. I believe reminder in to those who are hanging out that we're gonna roll credits. Uh, we're gonna end stream here, and then once we end stream. 
uh, we're gonna do the raffle and then show the first half of UBW. Uh, Hell yeah! yeah. <gasps> to be, um, I need 1,229 to be specific. Yeah, we're on the same. <laughs> yeah. I need 3,000 more. I'm so close. <laughs> 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 Bitch. I hope, I, hope Vogan, I hope Vogan doesn't fight. I hope he gets a buy. Yo, right? <laughs> oh. We've Fuck you, Logan! You, you Logan! You owe us. you owe me you owe me and Carrie one extra fight. Come on, just just uh -huh. let him have a fight. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I come kill on, it with this fight experience. Come on, come on, come on, come on! I'll come on, come on. give you guys this as a warning, and you guys know I've been talking about this for a while. When you guys help Argo mm. and taunt you with things, we're gonna be doing some split sessions. Mm. Uh -huh. Cool. Oh. Hell yeah! That's I didn't know exciting. this. Three yeah. of you are gonna go with one, three with the other. Everybody is welcome, <gasps> obviously, to step in and hang out. But each Ooh. we're gonna be until those that plot line resolves, we'll be switching people off. Uh, wow, I wonder off which one week. of them I'll be going with. Yeah, man, what a what a shock! What a Ooh, what a surprise! Uh, I can't believe well, you want to go with Argo that bad. <laughs> yeah, Argo's real cool. Yeah, yeah the cool gift boy. didn't. The gift didn't. You know what? I'm just gonna since no one's donating in such a ways to make it happen. I'm gonna go ahead and make that gift show up. One second. Oh, hold on. Let me get on. Let me get on the. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Like right on the. Show me, Spency boy. I'm yes. there. I'm there now. Could you go ahead and Same. I can check out stream? <coughs> I am. I'm doing. You are. I'm you checking out right stream. Right there. Yeah. You're there. Yeah. You're you're hacking. You're you're on stream. I am. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> That's so cool! <laughs> oh, that's so neat. You're gonna have to send that to me. <laughs> I will. Uh, actually, yes. you made it, uh, Din. You made it. Why don't you uh, fucking throw it over Spencer's way? Show it. Oh, Hell you're yes. so disgustingly talented. It's, uh, that is a that's a multiple sub. Um, <laughs> Oh. Uh, heckin' notification, so it'll randomly happen when we get multiple Twitch subs, but we it just didn't trigger today, unfortunately. Or if it did, uh, we weren't looking. Yeah. Just notifications weren't on or anything like that. Yeah, mm -hmm. well, they, they would visually be on, but I turned the sound off, so I... Never uh, oh, would. I see. Yeah. Wouldn't have oh. noticed. Oh it just my looks God, like they're yelling so at good. each other, like, no you, no you, no you. I'm not sure what about. No it's you. So good. I just want a really loud notification that goes with it that's, like, impossible to ignore. That's just, like, this 10 second. It's like, ah, I see. <laughs> Do you mean next week and not tomorrow? Yes, I mean tomorrow in game. Tomorrow in game. Tomorrow in game, yeah. That's. I, I feel like that's fairly evident since we wouldn't be. Yeah. Yeah. I found out about our secret Sunday stream. Oh, <laughs> our secret Sunday stream. When I, our, yeah. when I talk about times in game, I am almost always referring to the in game time. Unless mm. I'm talking directly about stream schedules, in which case I'll say that out loud. I can, uh, oh, by the way, for those that are wondering, um,. Because I, there's, there's not been a lot of confusion about it, but I thought I'd clarify. Um, since we missed Dragon Heist this week, because this week was just fucking murder. I, I had so much stuff I had to get done. I apologize, I'm the reason. But um, since we missed it, we're not going to be changing days or anything. Next week is going to be Tomb, as usual. And then the next week we'll be back to Dragon Heist and move forward. Heck yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, Damn mm -hmm. it, Brad. <clears throat> what? What? <laughs> what? Jesus. Still trying to get in, I'm still trying to get in Logan's well. What? Well, uh, that's not very nice. I'm still trying to get in your will, so I can't blame you. Oh, I see. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I've oh, been asking. I'm so, oh, well. I'm so excited for stuff. I can't wait till the time comes when I can talk about stuff. But I digress. Oh. Me too. You too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. Me too, heckin'... friendo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna let the credits uh, run through, and then we're gonna take off from the YouTube side and conclude our stuff. I was hoping to end around three hours, but we got an extra 40 minutes on it. Uh, Poor Stewie. I know he likes edit editing these things more when there's a fight, so... Sorry, I guess, about that specifically, Stewie. Yeah. We're never gonna have a game where we're not like, sorry, Stewie. I mean, I'm not really that sorry. Like, ever. I'm, honest, I'm not that <laughs> sorry about this. I'm never sorry, Stewie. Je ne like there you go. All right, <laughs> we're gonna take off. See you guys 
uh, on next session when we hit the next round of this gosh darn tournament and yet more things become complicated, I'm sure. Hooray! Bye. Things can't Bye. possibly get more complicated. Bye, you do we love Bye. you! Bye. Bye.